beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the Word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son stay there. I wish I told you people to rehearse this song. Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do, Jesus? The name above every other name.
encourage you tonight believers whatever God tells you he can do it believe me believe me don't mind what you see when he's speaking to you just take your eyes away and with childlike foolishness say Lord I believe if God tells you I am lifting you on the wings of eagles say Lord I believe don't ask and say who is my uncle uh -uh. I believe I believe this ministry is a testimony of what God can do when he finds men who can dare to believe him Jesus we give you the praise in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the Lord let's honor our worship team come on absolutely amen praise the Lord look guys I am so proud of you you do not imagine I was talking to a Jimmy and said look very soon we're going to start our own record label yeah absolutely we'll make it happen and by the Spirit of God it will bless the nations of the world and you have the opportunity to go around the nations of the world and be a blessing to the body in the name of Jesus let's honor them one more time thank you Manasseh is with us today bless him the bishop is around hallelujah bless you sir thank you so much I want to welcome everyone who will be very brief tonight we're going to pray I want to start tonight um, I'm going to give us a very strong admonition which also doubles as an instruction so please be ready to write the Lord put this in my heart to share with us it's been a wonderful year and God has been faithful but let me remind you that the year is not over like Bishop David Oyedeko will say he made the heavens and the earth in seven days I don't care whether it's prophetic seven days or real seven days my faith can agree on the one I want God to move on praise the Lord whether it's a thousand years seven days I know that even if it is in one day he says as soon as Zion travails she shall put forth a child he said have you ever heard this proverb that a woman will give birth in one day be pregnant in one day and give birth in one day that's God for you hallelujah I still believe that the best of the year for me is still to come I truly believe God has done things that has brought tears out of my eyes but I believe for myself that between now and December 31st I am yet to see the hand of God so but I want to encourage us even as we begin to set the pace for 2018 if you will be there, you can write. <laughs> no, gone are the days where people, in, in a false show of humility, they say, we don't know whether we can see tomorrow is a lie. Don't, don't let any man um, bring that nonsense around your table. No, you can believe. There are scriptures that authenticate the quality of your life the longevity of your life and the problem is that we come from environments that sociologically condition us to defeat thank you Jesus I want to give you a few things that the Lord put in my heart to encourage us really this is this is what I'm here to do this night and then a few other things that God will grant us grace to do. Now, most believers are not taught the relevance of a retreat. Most Christians are not taught that a retreat is part and parcel of the spiritual growth process of a believer. We teach fasting, we teach prayer, but very few believers have been taught as a corporate doctrine not just a time out away from people but a retreat that you end and begin seasons in your life in the presence of God it is risky to end and begin seasons in your life in the flesh the most spiritual aspect of your life should be when seasons are ending and when seasons are beginning because that's when Satan gets at people 
when the when when the seasons have been cleared up and you're moving it's difficult for satan to derail you are we together now so it is very very important every one of us must make sure that we use this one month that we're having and take out at least a few days for a quality retreat now there are different kinds of retreats we have our workers retreat as a ministry there are all kinds of retreats families have their retreats but this retreat i'm talking about is a retreat when you are exclusively alone with god not even husband and wife not even father and children no there are certain things god will never tell you in public there are certain things that you will only hear from god when you are alone with him are we together it is it is a very deep and simple spiritual mystery that guarantees victory many believers have not paid attention to it retreats very important end of year retreats very important you must take out time end of year retreat cannot be done in a few hours that is laziness you didn't have a retreat you just had a quiet time a retreat should be at least minimum two solid days you can't spend one day one day alone should be dedicated to thanksgiving is god speaking to us so every single one of us and those following online we must take out time to have personal retreats what are the activities that should happen in the retreats number one thanksgiving your end of year retreat is barren of god's power until you begin and lavishly communicate thanksgiving thanksgiving what we did here tonight is just a representation. The same way you spend a night vigil praying and putting your needs, you must thank God. Mention them one by one. Let me tell you, I know this about God. He never gets tired hearing people thank him. Lord, thank you. Thank you. You gave me tea. Thank you. Last year it was without blue band. You added blue band this year. So you observed it. You see that? Not Lord, you thank you for the food you gave me. That's a careless thanksgiving. Father, thank you. Last year it was tap water. Now you gave me bottled water. Thank you. That means you are careful. You are forgetting not his benefits. When it comes to requests, we are very meticulous. Lord, give me one, two, three, four. Then when it comes to thanksgiving, we say, Lord, even me i can't remember are you not god don't you know everything I, I just thank you for everything let's go to another prayer request and god says how selfish selfish when you thank god mention things one by one lord thank you i was on my way to kaduna and the car wanted to capsize you saved me thank you and god said ah, this happened january say lord i didn't forget you are too faithful for me to forget that event he say you remember this for me get ready for another dimension thanksgiving write it down thanksgiving we must take out quality time to thank him number two i'm teaching you how to maximize to set the pace to maximize your retreat what do you do during your personal retreat review your progress for the current year 2017 now that's what you do you sincerely honestly unashamedly review the year and i'll dwell here a bit to help us understand i want all of us to really understand these things the second thing you do at a retreat is to review the year and you don't just review the year carelessly you break your review into six different units write it down the first area is your spiritual life you review your spiritual life review your passion for god review the illumination of the word that you have accessed 
What do you know now that you did not know last year? What do you understand now that you did not understand last year? Review your character. Create a scale for it. Can I say I am improving? Not just in the knowledge of God. Am I useful to society? Am I becoming a leader? Am I becoming a person of character? So your spiritual life is the first area that you have to review. Let me tell you something about retreats. You must be honest. You see why you have to be alone? Excuse me. You must be honest. You must be unashamed. You must be very sincere before God. Number two, mental development and your capacity. You review that area. Did I cooperate with the word of God to develop my mind? Did I acquire useful information that will set me on the cutting edge of relevance? Did I just pray and fast and build my life spiritually and allowed my mind and my relevance with my sociological environment to die? Are we together now? Yes, it matters that we not only grow spiritually, but we sustain the ability to be useful. We must be able to communicate the life of Christ to our environment. So you review it. What books did I read? What do I know about leadership? Did I learn anything? Did I build my mind? What do I know about mindsets? Am I still carrying my village in my head, moving around with it? Am I still carrying the attributes that keep me poor and a failure? Am I still carrying the attributes that make good things to live my life? Is God helping us? Number three, review how much you have taken care of your body, your health. In a retreat, yes sir. That's the best place so that you can easily ask for forgiveness when because the only person you really have offended is God. This body belongs to him. For some of us 2017 has been a useful year spiritually and a careless one health wise. Is that true? Review. Oh this year Lord I apologize. I ate anyhow I did all kinds of things anyhow destroyed my body. Why do you make these reviews? Because you need this body to last very long. Are we together? Gone are the days when people don't talk about this in church and they tell people the most important thing is your spiritual life. And you see someone of 32 looking like 50. They ask him how old are you? He said, I will be 33 next year. He said, well, so why are you looking at his a condition make crayfish bed? No, you are not a crayfish. You are created in the image and the likeness of God. Some of those sayings, we must start getting them out of the body of Christ. They look very nice, but these are the things that authorize Satan to destroy our lives. Hallelujah. Your health. And some of us, it is not even poverty. It's carelessness. Write that word down. This is a word that you should look at very carefully during your retreat. Many people's lives are destroyed including their health because of one word carelessness unattentiveness to details hallelujah number four review your assignment the reason for which god brought you review your purpose your kingdom service these are things that you review at a time of retreat. Lord, I look at the compass of my destiny. Did I make progress this year? Can I say from prophecy to manifestation, I have moved forward. You see, this assignment and purpose thing, you, you, you hardly even hear it again. People don't talk about it. It says, lo, I come as it is written of me in the volume of the book to do your will. The reason why many people have time to waste their life is because they are not occupied with purpose. If purpose does not occupy you, anybody can call you any day and say, are you free, sir? Yes, come and follow me somewhere. God designed your time to be well invested fulfilling your assignment. This idleness that our generation has is because we are not occupied in purpose. And then the recent... Um, 
I would say trick of the devil is to make people busy but not moving forward. Motions like sitting on a rocking chair. The chair is rocking consistently but you are not making progress. Oftentimes Jesus would retreat and look, okay, I must be here, I must be there. Your assignment, your purpose. I don't know my purpose, but you can look at your service in the house of God. Use that as a template. What was your level of commitment? What was your level of diligence? Are we together? Very important. This is what I do during my retreats. Number four. The fourth area. Number what? Number five. I beg your pardon. Your finance. Write it down. Your finances. You have to flog it out in the secret place. Are we together? Now you've looked at your spiritual life, mental transformation, your body, your health. Is that true? And then your assignment, then your finances. We're very unapologetic about the usefulness of financial resources, both in the quality of our lives and kingdom advance. I'm not one of those pretentious people that would downplay the role of financial resources in helping an individual live a useful life. I've shared it again and again with us that living to seek money all your life is a cost. It's not just bad, it's a cost. It's one of the most distracting strategies of Satan. When a man spends all your life looking for money, it's a cost. Nobody was ever designed to do that. What time then do you have in building? This chase for money has made us to leave our children to the hands of Satan. Has made us to leave our purpose. There are people called as prophets and apostles, but they only realize one week to their death. They spent their whole life chasing money and they never find it. Please let me say it again and again. Do not ever plan to continue pursuing money all your life. There is an exact time where God should help you put together financial resources that afford you the opportunity to serve God so that you can turn and focus on the more useful things. Making financial pursuit priority in your life forever is a cause. It may be within the time you are seeking, that's all right. So this is very important. Review. Because for some of us, our whole lives is built around money, money, and we never get it. You talk two minutes, money, everything, money. You say Jesus, the person replies back with money. Money, money, every time. You have to review. Is that true? Was I able to engage the keys that bring for wealth and abundance this year? Or I just had it and it didn't work? You will easily know whether you engage it by the results you got. Finance is one area where your disobedience shows immediately. Immediately. So you must be sincere. This year, God gave me one million naira. God gave me hundred thousand naira. What did I do with it? I made a mistake. I gave 100,000 Naira to 419ers. You don't jump that. What is the lesson that I have to learn there? Is that true? God gave me 200,000. I bought a shoe and I bought a shirt that is not yet my level to prove a point to people who were not interested. Oh Lord, forgive me. Don't say it's all right. Ask for forgiveness because that is sin. Is that true? When God gives you resources and you waste it, if nobody has told you it is sin, believe me. Lord, I gave you offering of 1010 Naira. I gave you offering of 2020 Naira. But my average dinner was 2000 Naira. It's a sign that you are not a serious believer. I know you think, I'm not talking about money. You know that God has helped us. But it's important. These are some of the things that you do during your retreat. A measure of your passion for the house of God, and that includes with your resources. All this 10, 10 naira giving. You know, most times we lie to ourselves that it doesn't matter. 
the amount does not matter are we not bible students he that soweth sparingly what is sparingly small scanty shall reap but he shall reap scanty that's why you get one testimony in four months correct you are reaping but he that soweth bountifully lavishly extravagantly he said he will reap the bible said that scriptures cannot be broken so don't say that it does not matter it could be a time for you i remember it was in one of my retreats honestly speaking that the lord challenged me on this the level of giving was far less than the level of god's blessing on my life and the lord rebuked me and i made up my mind and i made a vow there is a minimum amount i will never give as offering again forever till jesus comes yes it's true it's true it's true so review it what do you understand about finances review it if all you know about finances is business and job is better you have to sit down and flog that area because neither of them in themselves will give you money number six relationships the sixth area that you will look at in your retreat is your relationships marital relationships career relationships business relationships destiny relationships some of us almost wasted our year today because of the presence of bad and useless associations associations that should have nothing nothing to do with our lives is all this uh, is our tribe is our church is our this is that true the bible says he that walks with the wise will be wise but it says the companion of fools will be destroyed relationships it matters review them review them who did you give access to this year whose presence destroyed your productivity who did you give access to this year that destroyed your potential for more results who should you have given access to this year that would have improved your life some of you your relationship here you even need to go back and check with the holy spirit what degree of access did you give him relationships now when you review these six areas let me be honest with you your entire life revolves around these six areas your spiritual life your mental development your health and physical well-being is that true your assignment your career whatever it is your financial resources and your relationships there is no man that will ever be a failure if he excels in this area usually what i do is that i scale all six areas and look at the best performing area and the worst performing area and i must answer why i won't just say i will improve why why was this the best and why was this the worst if your relationships for inside for instance was the worst this year what don't i know about friendship what have i not learned maybe i'm neglecting honor maybe i'm not valuable enough maybe i'm too much of a talkative maybe i'm not somebody who can be committed secret maybe i'm somebody who is not friendly maybe i'm someone who is jealous lord help me you write it down are you seeing how people grow in retreat you will never come out of that experience the same no sir people jump into the new year and laugh and fast for 10 days or 21 days and become the same old them again and you see the bible says you never put new wine in an old wine skin if your wine skin is old nothing new will ever come you will have to replace that wine skin like a snake molting shedding off the old skin so that there can be room for expansion he said go and borrow vessels borrow the wine skin borrow not a few and the more the wine skin the more capacity for the anointing to function is that true you must take out time so this is the second thing you do the first thing let's review thanksgiving 
thanksgiving then the second thing you do is a review of the year i gave you six aspects of your review the third thing is that you must plan for 2018 plan for 2018 i'll tell you how to plan shortly please write this it's very important plan for 2018 it's amazing how many people don't plan they think just because they are writing what they would do they think that's planning that's not planning many times those things are just wishes because at the end of the year less than one percent of them ever happen that's not a goal how do you plan set clear goals in these six areas we just reviewed set clear goals with scriptural backings in each of them I am convinced that if you set a goal in any of these six areas and it doesn't have a scriptural backing it will not come to pass because there is no basis for committing God remember your success is based on your partnership you are not going to plan alone for by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail you must plan and add a scriptural backing that means a spiritual basis for committing God in those areas and then you must add time targets to them every day is not conducive for everything no sir when you buy a product if we pick up this bottle of water you will see there's a little inscription there the manufacturing date and then they write something best before in other words to get the best of this pro this product it should be consumed within this time range putting time target to your goals puts a healthy pressure on you to be able to achieve them the reason why i believe that a lot of us have defaulted on our goals is because there is no time allocation so we make it look like every day is conducive no sir if you build a house at 70 years it's not a testimony if you finish school at 60 years it's not a testimony is that true if a woman gives birth to her first child at 60 years it's an unusual testimony it's because it's not supposed to be so is that true if god blesses you at 80 years who are you going to leave it for you will be angry and be frustrated so there are things that we must trust god to help us fast track in our life say amen and let me come to the gentleman and just talk to us a little please plan turn to any brother seated near you and say brother plan just leave the sisters in one minute say brother plan listen spiritual people spiritual people are some of the poorest planners we have especially in this country we don't plan for our greatness we just hope and wish and pray bishop oyedeko said praying without planning is playing without knowing you have to be like nehemiah with one hand you are building but with another hand you are holding the sword both hands cannot hold the sword one hand is holding the sword and another hand is building it says every house is built by some man but god is the builder of all that some man must build the horse is prepared for battle but safety is of the lord but it does not stop you from preparing the horse are we together now i expect every gentleman here to start planning married or not sit down and plan here's what scripture says when i was a child i thought like a child correct i understood like a child i acted like a child it says now that i am a man i lay aside these childish things some of you that's what will happen in your retreat you have to sit down and tell yourself this childishness in my life must go forever comma this foolishness in my life must go forever this stupidity in my life must go forever somehow we have this belief that because god is able without our engaging him through the application of the wisdom of god things will just happen just like that 
We are tired of irresponsible fathers. We are tired of irresponsible gentlemen. We are tired of nuisances to society. A gentleman who should be capable of feeding and taking care of his siblings and taking care of a generation is still depending on his old and aged parents. Blasting in tongues but depending there. It should not be. It should not be. There is an honor that comes when certain things are in place in your life. Is that true? I'm speaking to everybody, but I'm speaking especially to our gentlemen. Please, let's go back to God and plan. This rat race of visiting everybody. Today you are here. Tomorrow you are there. My brother, what are you doing with your life? You say it is well. No, it's not well. You sit down and plan. What are you doing with your life? Oh, I want to marry a person wonderful and eat what? Show me the blueprint of, of the, not the timetable of your cooking, the, the capability to be able to fend and take care of the family. Especially, do you know, because in Africa, let's be very honest, if I handpick everybody here, almost everybody here has at least four or five people depending to eat from him. Is that true? Leave the ladies. Gentlemen, I'm talking to you. I'm coming to the ladies. Pick anybody at random. There is one neighbor, one, one cousin you know, one relative that you didn't even know you are related to that needs you to feed. So gone are the days where you say, I have enough for myself. No. You must flog it out. Plan. 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 I will take the month of January to study only on finances. Even if they give you a message on rapture, you say, I'm born again. I have a goal. I'm studying on finances. I'm spending the month of February to study on faith. On faith. I'm studying the month of, of, the month of March to study on the anointing. I'm studying the month of uh, June or April or whatever to study on my giftings and potentials. I'm spending the month of July to study on ministry or my assignment. That's how we grow. You don't get up every day and open to any part of scripture and just read and convince yourself that you are growing. You must plan. Are we together? By the grace of God, there, there is almost a message concerning every major area of your life. Go to the media stand. There are teachings. The media department can help you compartmentalize the teachings. If it is success, if it's your spiritual growth, character development, you know, salvation, etc. Whatever it is. There are teachings and they are all free. Camp with them. You must plan. Number four. The fourth thing that I want us to do by the grace of God is that all of us as a family of faith, individually, we are going to be studying the book of Proverbs. Write it down. We are going to be studying the book of Proverbs. All the 31 chapters. Study, not read. There's a difference between studying and reading. You can take two, two chapters and finish it in 15 days. You didn't study, you read. You glance through. Let's use this break period to extensively study the book of Proverbs. Go online. There are all kinds of commentaries that have been done on that book. Study carefully. Don't read to finish. Read to understand. The book of Proverbs, the Lord put this in my heart. We're studying. The fifth admonition which comes as an instruction is that every one of us as much as God has granted us the understanding have a sacrificial seed wrapped with expectation this is between you and God a sacrifice is not a seed a sacrifice is bread he said cast your bread upon the water he gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater but there are times he will challenge you to give both the bread and the seed a sacrificial seed 
I'm already doing mine and I'm doing it again and again. It's a principle I have practiced for many years that at the end of the year into the next year, they, I, will, I will have to commit to something that costs me, both to God and to the ministry. Every year without fail, I do this. I'm not talking of uh, 10 naira, 20 naira, something that even you, you will stand and say, Lord, I give you thanks between you and God. Why are you doing that? You are engaging the mystery of sacrifice and securing the year coming. Now, please don't do it if you don't have the revelation. This has nothing to do with trying to manipulate money. And this is a mistake that men of God make. When it comes to things like seeds and sacrifice, you see them expressing a lot of desperation. I, I always say this, every man of God's success is not based on the giving of members. It is based on his own obedience to the principles of the kingdom. Koinonia will only prosper to the degree to which you are complying with the precepts of the kingdom. Are we together? These five things, I promise you that when you do them, you will be ready for an amazing 2018. Number one, thanksgiving. Number two, review. That number two for me is one of the most important. You have to review. Don't just wait and say, ah, apostle, send us the prophetic word for next year. My body is shaking. I need to know what is the prophetic word. This is how a lot of people keep recycling carelessness again after again. And, 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 and then they again and again, and they find out that the year remains the same. Different words coming, but there's no progress in our lives. So go back, get a notebook. Don't just get a little piece of paper. It's a sign that you are not serious with your own destiny. Get a notebook and sit down and write these things out. Come up by the Spirit. One of the things I can guarantee you that will happen in your silence is that the Holy Spirit will speak to you. He will correct you. He will applaud you. He will rebuke you. He will encourage you. He will challenge you. Let the chastening of the Lord not be something that you resent. Whatever happens in that secret place, embrace it as a refiner's fire. It is going to be the key to your next level. Is that true? Praise God. So you do this. This is my first encouragement for us tonight. These five things. The Lord put it in my heart and I felt to share with us to help us maximize our time. Proverbs chapter 4. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We're reading the first 10 verses. Proverbs chapter 4. Just to encourage us and then we'll pray. Proverbs chapter 4. Is it projected? Okay. Hear ye children the instructions of a father and attend to no understanding for I give you good doctrine forsake ye not my law Solomon is teaching us here for I was my father's son tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother he taught me also and said unto me let thy heart retain my words keep my commandments and leave verse 5 get wisdom get understanding forget it not neither decline from the words of my mouth verse 6 forsake her not who is the heart wisdom understanding forsake her not and she shall preserve thee take note the benefits of embracing wisdom and understanding she shall preserve thee love her and she shall keep thee seven says wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting get understanding verse 8 says exalt her and she shall promote thee she shall bring thee to honor who will bring you wisdom and understanding not just wisdom wisdom and understanding will bring you to honor when thou dost embrace her we're reading to verse 10 verse 9 
she shall give unto thy head an ornament of grace a crown of glory shall she deliver unto you verse 10 hear O my son and receive my sayings and the years of thy life shall be many from preservation to honor to longevity wisdom and understanding wisdom is the capacity to understand the mind of christ wisdom is the ability to communicate the scriptural solution concerning every issue of life the scriptural solution to every issue of life is called wisdom you are wise to the degree to which you comprehend the ability to profess scriptural solution there are cultural solutions to life's problems there are occultic solutions to life problems there are emotional solutions to life's problems none of them in themselves are able to provide lasting solutions but the wisdom of god the wisdom of god i have pursued the wisdom of god with my life because when i was exposed to my own folly and the fact that i am so limited and the consequences of foolishness the bible says he that works with the wise shall be wise himself but he said just being the companion of a fool your destruction is guaranteed if as a companion of a fool you are destroyed then what happens to the fool just being a friend to a foolish man allowing his foolish decisions to influence you it guarantees doom for you that means every fool has no hope foolishness is bankruptcy of the knowledge of god's principles it's not just acting foolishly the foolish action is a product of bankruptcy in your spirit and in your mind I'd like us to carefully examine the decisions in our lives. I want us to carefully examine the things that we do. The degree to which you have succeeded is a show of how you have manifested the wisdom of God. Every time results are not produced in your life is because there was a defaulting in the wisdom of God. It's an uncomfortable truth, but it's the secret to rising and pressing for wisdom. I am ever ready to be shown by God the areas in my life where I am bankrupt of the wisdom of God. It doesn't embarrass me. I want to know. I search for it like one who is looking for treasure. If you do not contend for wisdom, your life will be an unending circle of pain, an unending circle of regrets, an unending circle of many things. Most of us look at our lives this year and we can see several points in our lives where foolishness veered us off the path of glory and brought us into a lot of pain. Some of us lost destiny helpers. Some of us lost the gift of men. Is that true? Some of us lost opportunities. Some some of us lost access several things no wisdom some of us this year we approached our parents wrongly and right now there is a divide between us and our parents lack of wisdom some of us had zeal with no knowledge and it brought a lot of trouble to our businesses a lot of trouble to our ministries wisdom is very important the bible says it is the principal thing and you see, the Bible says, I commend you to the word of God. It says it's able to make you wise. The word of God makes men wise. Just by focusing your attention on the word of God and imbibing the principles 
the modus operandi of the kingdom it makes you wise the word of god teaches you how to relate with difficult people the word of god teaches you how to speak and when to speak so that you don't get into trouble the word of god teaches you how to respond to unbelievers many of us come from families where there is a mixture of people who are both of the faith and not of the faith wisdom teaches you how to communicate wisdom teaches you that when you are angry be silent because every time you speak you will speak in the flesh there are many people who just obeying this principle would have saved them businesses worth millions of naira they uttered words that they are still paying for it today are we together our challenges dr mike Murdoch will say there is no money problem anywhere and i agree with him most of our challenges because you see we are victims of our understanding and most of the things we have executed in our lives are reflections of the limitations of our knowledge our wisdom our understanding guess what the bible says it says true wisdom a house is built then it says by understanding it is established the firmness of that house is a product of understanding it says true knowledge is the house filled with every pleasurable thing we must make up our minds that we are going to access the word of God not just as an instrument to heal us of the guilt of um, spirituality I would say for many people our study of the word is just to so that the devil does not plant any seed in us that we are backsliding but we are not learning anything this is the greatest book that will help your career and your business this is the greatest book that will help your marriage this is the greatest book the sufferings in our world today is because we have ignored the truths that are here we have read it like a religious book we have read it to preach we have read it to to carry out bible studies and prayer sessions but we have not read it for the purpose of accessing wisdom for the way of the lord is the way of wisdom choose the way of the Lord. Listen, there is no age you get to in life that guarantees that all your decisions will be flawlessly accurate. This is the book that coordinates our success. There is no educational height you get to that guarantees that your decision making process will be accurate even if you study psychology it is not enough to give you all the parameters that are needed in themselves to make wise decisions i have lost confidence in myself outside of the world it says thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path in this wicked world listen this ministry by the grace of God was built on this word. I have meticulously built my life on this word. I don't trust any other thing that is not this word. I bring you a proposition tonight as we round up this year. I want you to return to a place where you hold an unquenchable hunger and value for the word. Many of us pray but our lives are bankrupt of wisdom our decisions show the absence of the influence of the word it's very clear that we are not being governed by the word i can know how much you have imbibed the word by the excellency and the quality of your communication i'm not talking of linguistic excellence i'm talking of the wisdom that flows from your words i see your behavior I see how you disappoint your enemy's expectations and I know you have stayed with the world. When you become a victim of people's expectations, wait and see. He's going to shout at this person. Ah, you come and shout. Ah, you have given yourself cheap to life. The word of God is not coordinating you. Jesus 
disappointed the expectations of the people many times for instance when they brought to him the woman who was caught in adultery they expected he was going to rant because they were talking about the word of god you know every time satan wants to challenge you he uses scripture moses said this and jesus kept quiet wisdom for there is a time to speak and there is a time to be silent there are times where your loudest communication is in your silence your silence will answer more than any word for instance when responding to your critic your critic already knows the truth don't try to explain it's a waste of time you don't respond to critics by verbal communication you respond to critics by consistency consistency of your results is that true when I look at our lives and I see our lives surrounded by pride and arrogance it is because we have not seen the deception of pride the deception of pride is like a man climbing a ladder and you take the ladder away that's exactly what pride does I love the Word of God I stopped reading my Bible to finish it I stopped reading my Bible to crime scriptures I found out that it was truly a roadmap in this darkness darkness where there is deception how many of you have followed people's advices and their advices crashed you not because they were bad people they were just humans they advise you to beat your wife if she goes wrong see i tried it on my own wife look at how she's behaving now you tried it on your own wife and that's when you, you your prayer stopped being answered that's the first thing that started happening to you and many other bad things happen to you I can look at your life and know how much the word of God has prevailed by the quality of the results that you produce you see let me tell you something if I look at your life and I see you are dirty and tattered as simple as neatness I know you don't have respect for the word of God if the word of God can purge your spirit then your life will reflect it you cannot be growing in the world and you are dirty unkept looking like a thief all the time and say it does not matter no sir no sir the word of god will make you to buy iron because it will teach you that there is a way you appear before kings there is a way kings behave and the bible tells you that you have been made according to revelation chapter 5 and verse 10 we have been made unto god a kingdom of kings and priests so you speak like a king you act like a king is that true it is the word of god that is the antidote to these conflicts that our cultures create in our heads christian versus hausa christian versus yoruba christian versus Igbo. you don't know which one to embrace and which one to leave i propose to you a culture that is above and superior to every other one that any part of your culture that does not subscribe to the word of god eject it immediately the kingdom is a culture most of us our lives have been destroyed because of our our unfortunate loyalty to cultural tenants that are completely anti-christ so although uh, we are attempting again and again to be spiritual but the the thinkings that we have imbibed from culture continue to fight god in our lives i have no loyalty to anything that is not of God this is it this is my new culture scripture tells me that I've been called out of every tribe I'm not saying culture is bad in itself but trust me there are demonic and satanic areas there are certain aspects of cultures that are not seen in themselves but I tell you they are weights a weight is something that can provide an impedance it can stop your movement it says my yoke is easy and my burden is light so when you are carrying a weight that is destroying your life in our place we don't do this in our place women cannot talk who is this woman preaching i can't listen to her because in our which your place who invented it oh god is speaking i will listen in our place young people don't talk to old people even respectfully even under the anointing are you seeing that now it is important that we re 
calibrate our minds so that we begin to view life from the perspective of the kingdom they drove children from coming to Jesus something about their culture taught them that and Jesus said, ah, 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 let the little children come to me and do not forbid them he said for for such that means these children roaming around are teaching you a lesson you are not learning that until you become like one of these not childish but childlike very malleable in your faith and understanding he says the kingdom is for such are you getting blessed tonight get wisdom get understanding make a conscious decision that in the name of the Lord Jesus although I was born in so 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 place I was born under so 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 condition by the grace of God my children will not live under that kind of condition the Lord by his spirit will lift me it's not about Nazareth it's not about where you come from it's about your ability to walk with the Word of God and bring that transformation hallelujah by the grace of God I have made it a personal commitment as a minister that I will never create seditions or favoritism based on geographic factors never never you will never see me do that I love my people wonderful people love my region where I come from but by the grace of God, I've traveled to every one of the regions of this nation and they love me unreservedly because I do not and will never, never try to create any sense of superiority of one culture above another. I love everyone. The Bible says there is neither male nor female, neither Jew nor Greek, born nor free. We are all in Christ. So I cannot see, I can say IK is Igbo and say I'm um, Pastor Alpha is from Kogi State, Promise is from Delta and I say you are my person, be careful. Those are the kinds of mindsets that rob us because your destiny helper will come as directed. It may not be from your place. Joseph of Arimathea. The Bible does not record that he was part of the disciples of Jesus. How about Simon of Cyrene? The people who played very major roles in the life of Jesus. Jesus was rejected by his own people. They ran away. Anna the prophetess. Simeon in the temple. Joseph of Arimathea. Look at the strange people who came and attended to him. Wisdom. There are ministries that have crashed into pieces because of lack of wisdom. They make it look like if you are this tribe, you are not welcome. If you are that tribe, you are not welcome. We must be careful because we are dealing with a global society. Part of the principles you learn when you study global leadership is that you must concentrate on the points of similarity. Concentrate on the points of similarity. Nobody will be comfortable in an atmosphere where their core values are being insulted simply because you are trying to demonstrate the superiority of another culture. So we unify ourselves as believers with one common culture. It's called the kingdom. The kingdom is God's culture where we allow the influence and the reign of Christ to permeate our lives regardless of our geographic differences ah. Elohim Adonai Thy kingdom come Thy will be done Elohim Adonai Thy kingdom come Thy will be done Elohim Adonai me wisdom it is the Bible that teaches us how to be wise financially it says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children so when you see a young man spending as if he would not marry you see that living a fake and a foolish life that's a selfish man because he's not thinking about his children and his children's children 
The Bible says it. The Bible says there is he that scattereth. Hear the wisdom of God. There is he that scattereth and increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. That means there is a relationship between greed and lack. The Bible establishes it. So when there is lack in your life, you check and you see that there is scripture is fulfilled in your life. The Bible talks about tithing. That there is a relationship between the opening of your heavens and your tithing. Regardless of whatever opinions are available scripture cannot be broken it is by these two immutable things god swore his word will not be broken heaven and earth will pass away but brothers and sisters men and their philosophies and their pride and their arrogance nations and kingdoms will rise and fall but the word of god remains consistent one of the greatest fears if i would say in my life is to find out that at the end of my life i believe they lie I wasted my time following a man, following a philosophy, and then at the end he would tell me, I'm sorry, me too, I'm as confused as you. I choose the word of God that liveth and abideth forever. This ministry is a tithing ministry. I'm a tithing person. There is no devil and no doctrine that will ever stop us. That's why there is no amount of recession. I say it with all humility. By the grace of God Almighty that is capable of limiting me as a person and limiting the work of God. For he said, I will build my church. And if you allow me to build it, I will build it in such a manner that the gates of hell will not prevail. This is the wisdom of God. I have learned from the wisdom of God that as a man of God, your assignment is to lift up Jesus, not yourself. This is the secret to crowd. You lift up yourself, you pay for it. He says, and I, if I be lifted, the reward for lifting me is mysteriously, I will draw all men, not some men, not some territories. When I found this, I said, Lord, I have no business building any empire. It is about Jesus, the King of kings and the Lord of lords thank god for the honor but i'm so happy to let you know that the one who really deserves all the glory and all the honor is jesus the head of the church the builder of koinonia it came from the word i'm showing you things from the word i have found out in the word of god that when you honor the body of christ there are dimensions you enter it is, it is the word of God that gave me that wisdom. So I can insult a man because I do not like something about him. Yet he's carrying an anointing that can help me. It is for this cause many are weak. For this cause many are sick. For this cause many do sleep. There are many people who would have cheaply received miracles. But the vessels that carry the anointing are not appealing to them. The scripture says there is a treasure in earthen vessel. He didn't tell you the vessel is golden. He said the vessel is earthen. So he can be angry like Elijah or temperous like Moses. They still are anointed. When I found out I don't have any problem with any man of God. You never hear me open my mouth and tear down a man and his ministry because I believe that there is always something I can learn. Even if I cannot learn spirituality, I can learn excellence. I can learn leadership. When you search for Jesus everywhere, you will find him. Hmm. I learned from this scripture that as a man, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. So I stop wasting my time packaging a reality that is not here. Gone are the days where people try to buy suit, buy shoe with empty understanding and then their minds reduce their lives back. Have you seen territories like that? They try to do physical things. They have not educated the people in that environment. Then they make tap. In six months, they spoil the tap to look like the mindsets of those living in that environment. No sensitization. So I learned that the key to my lifting is not buying clothes, buying shoes, buying all these things to prove a point that I can wait with the Holy Spirit to reconstruct my understanding and that inevitably the things I so admire will helplessly run towards me. Oh my God, and how, how true. This is one of the truest revelations I know in scripture. 
the supernatural power of the transformed mind and its ability to effortlessly draw to your life the realities that are consistent with your understanding it is true are we together the wisdom of God tells you there is hope for a tree even it be cut short in our society where we are we are more than happy to conclude on people you look at someone and say this guy used to be an arm robber there's no hope for him but when you study the word of God the Bible is full of people that God transformed their lives overnight and my Bible says that rejected stone ha! that rejected stone I'm speaking to someone in your family and all the nonsense and rubbish that they say about people there are people who started this year with their pride of spirituality and right now they are not they are almost not even born again because their pride humbled them they maintain their spiritual life by themselves but there are people who started this year saying Lord if you are looking for any vessel can you use this drunkard and God said that's all I want come and right now as I speak to you they are in various stages around the world setting a place the kingdom of darkness because he uses the foolish things when you understand this you will never run your mouth at anybody and conclude on people you don't see a woman who is frying a car and look and say oh dear poor woman because God can pick someone you see the word of God makes men wise the way we speak sometimes shows that we have not read scripture whether it is a poor man a rich man I will hug you and greet you. I won't say you, you are this. No, no, no. Of course, I will give you honor. Because God, I have seen in my little life how God has transformed people overnight and made princes to be servants and servants to become princes. If the Baba of Joseph knew he was babbing the prime minister, he would have begged him and said, Sir, don't forget me, oh. There were people of Bas and John lifted simply because they dared to advise him while he was in prison. When he came out, he sent for them, created one committee and dropped them there. He said, quit before I change the committee. And he said it very openly, not anything in hiding. I brought this person here because he was there for me. Wisdom. Wisdom teaches you to be there for people at their worst areas because they will never forget you. People will forget you when they, if, if, if I hold a banquet for plenty people, you hold that banquet as a king, so you forget everybody. But when someone comes to you in the cave of Adullam, you say, I will never forget you. Everybody ran away from me, but you stood here. One of the quickest way to be rich is find somebody rising. Find a vision rising. Be part of it with all diligence. That's a free ride to the wealthy place. I guarantee you. Some of our parents today know people that would have changed their life in a heartbeat. They are crying for rent. Whereas somebody that they would have helped with 15 naira 20 years ago would give them an estate today. The word of God making us wise. Making us wise. Making us wise. Making us wise. Hold your Bible in one minute. And I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, there is, there is wisdom in this scripture. There is wisdom in this scripture. There is wisdom in this scripture. I'm tired of foolishness in my life. Lord, I come to terms with the fact that my decisions are obviously showing a bankruptcy of the word of God. The quality of my decisions are a revelation that the wisdom of God is not at work in my life. The quality of my decisions, the quality of my results are questioning the efficacy of the word of God in my life. Are you praying? I'm not asking you whether you have been faithful with Bible study. I'm not asking you whether you have been faithful with your, your devotion or whatever it is. I am asking you, have you allowed the wisdom of God to influence your understanding? Do you live your life trading the mysteries of the kingdom? Or do you live your life guessing and hoping that at a point in your life things will change? It's risky to run your life by your own your own formula hallelujah sit down the wisdom of God come the wisdom of God teaches us how to relate with people 
is that true when when you study the wisdom of God the Word of God you will know that whoever wants friends will not sit down and say call me text me be my friend that friendship is a harvest you have to sow the seed so if I sit down and I find out that I love God but there are no friends as a lady nobody likes me as a guy nobody likes me the secret is that something about your life is creating an environment that is pungent to friendship see that when you lack helpers in your life the Bible gives you a prescription when you lack helpers in your life I can tell you immediately there are things you are not doing among them there is no prophecy on your life because destiny helpers don't come on their own it is one aspect of your life that it is pure prophecy that calls them many of us we have used our words to program wars ladies ah, it is not for us we are not us we are the we are the um uh, what they call that thing we are the outcasts we are the ones who our parents cannot this leave it to these people and the bible says do not say before an angel i made a mistake we have programmed nonsense and rubbish a name god did not call you you have allowed yourself to be called it again and again you called yourself ugly there is nowhere in scripture where you are called ugly you called yourself irresponsible the word of god does not call you that way open my eyes help me believe i am what you say hallelujah so French. The Bible says, cast not away your confidence. Confidence is not pride. Uh -uh. Confidence is psychological stability that is on the strength of the truth you have found in scripture. That's confidence. Stability that is based on the truth of God's word. If you tell me, Apostle, I, I was passing across a shrine and I heard them talking about you, that they will kill you tomorrow. I'm going to sleep this night. I won't wake up and do any special prayer through the night of God. And it can't be joy, it's a joke. If you know the mysteries that keep this man standing, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you surround yourself with mysteries like chariots. When the spirit of death knocks on your door, three scriptures come out like, like fire. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. Number two, honor your father and your mother that your days may be long and that it shall be well with you. Number three, I set before you life and death. Blessing and cursing, I advise you and I chose it. Do you fight a man outside his will? Even God stands in the door of your heart and knocks. Why won't Satan knock? Why won't death knock? If God is knocking to enter. I don't know about you. The Bible says a man who has no control over his spirit is like a city without war. Anything that must enter my life, if God knocks to enter, nothing will enter on his own. It's my revelation. So when men say there is a casting down, they allowed it somewhere. For me, when it knocks, I say, get back. For me, there is a lifting up. See, I'm not just entertaining you. I'm showing you how the word of God makes a man wise. It constructs your understanding. The Bible says he daily loads me with benefit. I expect favor every day. Recycled after 24 hours. It's not because I'm a preacher. I expect it. I found it. I found thy word and I ate it. It was a joy and a rejoicing. The word was not written for preachers, brothers and sisters. It was written for those who can believe. My mother started learning these principles and you would find that people would start calling take a bag of rice give your mother take this give your mother working for her she's not a preacher and it's not because she's my mother it works for anybody 
he said declare ye that he might be justified i will never say i am a failure no sir no sir no sir no sir just because there is no food in your room most believers will come guide this life self aluta continua victoria escarta is a, a cause you are recite you are enchanting is the same thing as being given a charm in a herbalist shrine and you read it that's what we have been doing you come in and you see lack and insufficiency you declare while i look not at the things that are unseen but the things that are seen for the things that are seen are temporal subject to change but the things that are unseen i know that one day i will feed nations come on now you are going through times in your life you don't understand what is happening you don't give room to depression though he slay me yet will i trust him i know my redeemer lives Bible said Job did not curse God. The way we act is a revelation as to whether the word of God has worked in us. You go back and you meet friends. Ah, a mega, and then they say one kind of very devilish, poisonous, and vulgar word. You call a human being a dog, you call a human being, it used to be a joke, but now that you have the revelation. You lovingly say, no, I'm not a dog. I know exactly dogs in scripture are used to communicate Gentiles and people who are at the basest levels of life. I will not confess that. The Bible says he has made me a king and a priest. I remember when I was in secondary school, there's something they call Yabi. Do you know it? Where two people will sit down and look for very nasty expressions. Very vulgar descriptions of themselves the goal is for it to be funny so somebody usually there are a group of people who are like the referees i will say my own you'll be angry and say your own and then you know that's why people were not doing well notice people enter just one and by the time they finish writing exams they come out the only thing they come out with is a good certificate common sense gone health gone they are sick they have troubles God has not given me the spirit of fear. The Bible says I shall not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day. In my world, there's nothing like ember months. He daily loads. This is the day the Lord has made. It is said the Lord and Satan, the Lord alone made that day. Satan too was waiting for God to make the day. It was God that made the day. I rejoice in it and I am glad. You will never see me frowning my face and you ask me why i said this word nigeria said no he said for with joy shall i draw i've taught you this frustrate satan by remaining joyful he said rejoice in the lord not in your results if you rejoice in your results the day you don't see it you will not rejoice again if you rejoice in your cgpa your job your new employment i rejoice in the lord my eyes are on him regardless of the results my eyes are on him you pick a medical report and he looks at you he says the, the medical report says you have all kinds of lumps and all kinds of growth and the devil says that's it oh. in case you don't know the name is cancer it's just that it's forming come keep watching and you sit down and go online signs of cancer they say it starts like lumps hey, hey. <laughs> you come and meet a maker and then he will confirm it to you he says it's true and drop that report and say lord if i die who will dance you are reducing the number of people who will praise you ask hezekiah isaiah went to him in chapter 38 and said hezekiah set your house in order hezekiah said nonsense i respect you you're a prophet of god but leave me and god shut the door hezekiah said god what did i hear you say remember your temple when you talk about the temple god listens oh lord your house so oh. and he said no 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 please isaiah go back go back go back i think it was a prayer department i was i was um Yes, on Tuesday, I was rounding up their session with them and I told them something. I said, as a worker in this ministry, there are benefits that should be yours. They are not, they are not privileges, they are rights. As a worker, 
there are certain things that should be yours the bible said a worker is worthy the word worthy there is deserving of his wages not just a worker in koinonia a worker in the house of god the closest simile to wages is salary that means that there should be something that leaves heaven for me you have gotten your salary for being a civil servant of Nigeria. Have you gotten your salary for being a worker in the house of God? Is God speaking to you? The way I speak, the way I act, the way I understand is a revelation. When you look at your child and beat your child and kick your child and say you are you are an idiot, you are a stupid child, I don't know why you and your foolish mother, you are revealing something. The kicking is a revelation. It's a revelation that number one, you don't know that children come from God. Number two, you do not know that fatherhood is an office recognized in the realm of the spirit. There is a priesthood office that fatherhood has. The mother of Jabez was angry. She didn't know that motherhood is an office. And out of her anger, she named her child Jabez. Every time Jabez was to be good, that office cried in the realm of the spirit. And one day Jabez was angry and said, no, I can't continue like this. I can tell you more than half of Africans are carrying all kinds of tragedies that the office of father and mother provided out of anger. Your father looks at you and just says, look, it will not be well with you just because that time you were in the world and you stole his shoe or you stole a goat and went to go and sell it and he looked at you and in anger, he cursed you. He said, this is how you will be like a goat all through your life. And you will think it's a joke until you find out you put a goat side by side with the way you are behaving and you see that it's exactly the same true story i'm rounding up i know a gentleman that the mother cursed him and said until a rat stops stealing he will not stop stealing yes true story god is my witness he was a popular face that i knew this guy will come out of prison now as they are waving him sign it in two weeks he's coming back again that prophecy secured the spirit of theft in his life comfortable the only thing that can set him free is the anointing you see the reason why we speak over people yes you speak over people to superimpose and veto the ordinances that have been communicated upon their lives listen brothers and sisters i want you to understand that these are spiritual ordinances fatherhood and motherhood did not end with the old testament in the new testament a man treats his wife bad and the bible says his heavens will be closed this is why many fathers are going through hard life in Nigeria. I'm telling you this. This attitude of treating mothers and treating women as if they are a piece of rag. You are a father here. Please apologize. I have great respect for men. I'm one. I've been one all my life. So I, I don't in any way downplay men. But I want to be sincere with you. The way you treat your wife, not a woman, your wife, will determine whether your heavens will be close or not so you can labor you finish insulting your wife call her stupid woman you and all your five useless children you are going for the business meeting they call you when you are almost there and say sir just go back it won't work again you say what do you mean it won't work i just prepared my paper the heavens you always know when the heavens are closed because a forest becomes a fruitful vine and becomes a wilderness depletion from as they say from grace to grass close heavens that's why the bible says until the spirit be poured upon us like rain from high then a wilderness will become a fruitful vine then a fruitful vine will be counted for a forest thank you hallelujah we're going to pray tonight and then i'm going to speak over your life I really believe in the power of prayer listen let me encourage you with these keys that i've shared with you i expect every wise young man 
whether you are staying with your parents or not or if if both of your parents have gone to be with the lord you have spiritual parents you have all kinds of representatives if i were you do something for your earthly parents that will provoke a blessing from them as you are going home now don't just go as a big man big man no money close heavens go and meet your parents mommy i don't have so much money but i made pepper soup for you i went round the city looking for bush meat that you like i found it ah really my daughter you mean bush meat okay god bless you ah mommy no i came with this one specially please pray for me what kept you and daddy for 50 years let that grace come your mother will look and say kneel down that's it i can guarantee you that prayer is not noise he said go and make me venison that i may bless you you don't bless without venison the foolishness of young people you stroll to anybody and they don't bless me you think it works like that was I, was it just because he was hungry it's a principle honor your father and your mother i'm telling you this is some of us this is what will break this joblessness these problems some of us you just need to go back home and say mommy i'm sorry for five years i have given you a lot of headache you people don't even like seeing me but i want to tell you that i got connected to a ministry and god has changed my life i just want you to speak over my life i don't have much but i came with 100 naira recharge card they may have 10,000 naira in their phone but that 100 naira is what will open you up they will say kneel down let me tell you whether your father is a believer or not if he speaks to you it's an office it will open your destiny are we together back home and you see the people in your community loitering their life christmas is when people die from bike as a result of drinking they learn how to ride bike during christmas <laughs> until they die from it and you just sit and say look three or four friends let's see what we can do one day small program somewhere at the back of one football field put one speaker and the rest organize something even if it's for the children instead of our little children dancing all this devilish dance that they start spoiling the hearts of these small children gather them let them even if it's biscuit and sopo or something you have done something noble for the kingdom and then take god on exodus chapter 23 verse 25 you shall obey and serve me and i will bless your bread and water i will take sickness far away from you there will not be barrenness in your life and your days i will prolong lord i served you during this break i come for the blessings that follow service are you ready to pray please rise up on your feet hello him adonai thy kingdom come thy will be spirit and seal the remaining part of this year seal the remaining part of this year go ahead and pray
Counsel that I should experience for 2017 and is still lagging in my life. The remaining days that we have, I think we should have about 20, maybe about 16 more days. Am I right? 16 days is too much for God to do a fearful miracle. Open your mouth and release your faith. Move, oh God. Move, oh God. In 16 days. You can still confirm your word concerning my life. serious prayer right now most of us are going back maybe to spend the break with our loved ones or around I'd like you to pray when Jonah entered a boat people started weeping and losing everything because one man in disobedience was in the boat he made the boat unusually heavy and was about to capsize but when the ark of God entered the house of a man called Obed Edom without prayer in 90 days three months everything changed I like you to pray and say Lord I am a living tabernacle as I go home or wherever it is that I'll be going to I represent your possibilities I represent the act of God go ahead and pray I go home to smash the works of darkness every activity of divination every activity of darkness over my loved ones in the name of Jesus as I step my feet I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost the heavens are open unto me In the name of Jesus, I challenge every force. Hallelujah. Praise God. Don't be tired of praying. I want us to challenge three demonic forces over our family. Listen. One is the spirit of sickness and infirmity. Two, the spirit of poverty and hardship. Three, the spirit of death. Lift your voice and curse them. Lift your voice and curse them. In the name of Jesus, I represent the government of heaven over my life and my family. I command the spirit of death. Take your hands off my loved ones. There will be no sound of mourning. In the name of Jesus, pray. 
I come against necromancy. I come against manipulations of the consolations to destroy the life of any one of my loved ones. They are covered. I lift the standard of the blood. I lift the standard of the blood. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. I lift the standard of the blood. No death, not by accident, not by terrorism, not by plane crash. I cause sickness, I cause infirmity, I cause sickness. We cause cancer, we cause arthritis, we cause hepatitis, we cause every killer disease, every terminal disease. Take your hands of our loved ones. the spirits of poverty and hardship stealing resources from our loved ones causing conflict in homes If only my father got a good job by now he would have given me one of his houses see how i'm starting life from scratch and you are angry you may never move forward are we together see how my head of department annoyed me today and you rob yourself from receiving see how the bike man eh, wanted to take away my change i said there is many 10 naira he refused and because of 10 naira you miss a major miracle Part of your preparation tonight will be to take away anything that can stand the way of the free flow of the power of God. From hatred to bitterness to envy and all of these things that have that sustain the ability to rob you and destroy you. And you open up your heart and say, Lord, you have said it. I'm ready to see it manifest in my life. Are we together? It doesn't take so long. I was so blessed by the testimony of our dear sister you know i met two people while i traveled i had prayed for them some time ago two of them over the issue of um, um barrenness there's been this uncommon grace that i have personally seen in this season for releasing supernatural fruitfulness especially in the area of children strange miracles very strange miracles there are probably people seated here that's all you pray for you can give away your job and give away anything god give me a child do you believe he can do it whether they say you have a womb or not that's just leave the doctor's report there's no doctor that knows everything in the human body even us we are still learning many things we are calling we are changing the names as we grow so there's no guarantee there is no guarantee that what the doctor said is final authority there are people who they've told them you have to live one week and after 10 20 years they are still standing are we together do you know that when you travel to the villages you see people who ordinarily if you diagnose them you just put a drip right immediately but they are the ones walking maybe it's the mechanic the only mechanic in the village fixing truck he will carry it by himself and put it and that person is sick every sign but simply because someone has not told him he believes he's healthy and he will live like that 97 he's still kicking are we together yeah you don't have any child you lose your teeth nobody feeds you so you better keep them your dentition must be complete at 97 you cannot walk you are in trouble nobody will help you and you see people 102 103 but the informations we have received have conditioned us to agree with certain things so they look at you and they say kai you look pale you just say yes i look pale you you know nothing is wrong with you but just because you read online and they say once you see a pimple here and here is a sign of ebola and exactly where they described is where you say no 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 i don't have ebola 
And after 10 minutes, say, let me better go to the hospital. They will now say, you don't have a bola boy, you are sick, lie down. Now, we have doctors here. Doctors, don't feel bad, I'm, I'm on your side. But I'm just saying, look, we need to edit a lot of stories we have received. Do you know, if you were not told certain things, you would have gotten more results in your life than now? Something you had discouraged you. Something someone told you out of sympathy and a sincere heart. You were believing God and you know, you just knew that, look, this thing will work. And somebody told you, he said, look, let me tell you something. Eh? You see me, I'm 70 years old. I started this, your madness, when I was 19. Till now, God has not responded. I can't say he's not faithful, oh, but <laughs> this is your Jim Jim. You will soon rest and immediately your passion dies down. The devil is a liar tonight. Every truth in the word of God is available for the believer. Die believing it. Die acting upon it and you will commit God's integrity. You're not going to be careless over it and get a result. Brothers and sisters, I would die believing the word of God. If I, if I die, it's over. You can talk, well, you talk to a dead body, but not when I'm alive. I believe his word. I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe, I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe, I believe in miracles. I believe in signs and wonders. I believe in the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, I do believe. I believe in miracles. I believe in signs and wonders. I believe in the power of the Holy Ghost. I believe. I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. Do you believe him? Do you believe him? You are here seated. Do you believe that that devil can leave you? There is a spirit that oppresses you. You can't sleep. I went through it as a preacher oppressed by demon spirit people told me it's, it's not it doesn't happen well it happened to me brothers and sisters it did it happened to me the day I was free I knew till tomorrow do you know let me tell you something brothers and sisters one activity of a demon spirit in your life can walk like an octopus close almost ten doors one spirit ten doors you will be addressing it here finances favor open door whereas one wicked spirit sitting on your destiny you may say it, it doesn't matter you watch the lives of people let me tell you when most people come out they come out over the most obvious issue the most obvious one is the one you try to address but when the power of god comes it's like a drug it will scan your body and deal with everything it's only because you need a child now that's why you think what is wrong with you is barrenness it's a spirit that has been enjoying your ignorance for a long time it's just that you've not had an opportunity to give birth so you do not know are we together now there are people carrying the spirits of failure upon their lives they will tell you it's because of this job they leave this job and go to this one they leave this and do this listen when you see different conditions producing the same result there is a spirit behind it whether good or bad you take a man somewhere he excels you take him somewhere he excels there is a spirit sponsoring that result the same way you take a man and give him any opportunity he will blow it there is a spirit this is a revelation to someone already to tell you it's not that they didn't give you the job it wouldn't have made any difference it's not about the job you must address the spirit causing failure in your life and family are we together now yeah 
there are people who do well in every family they rise up they enjoy the blessings of the lord and overnight they crash as if they do you know let me tell you something there are people i know today honestly speaking 10 15 20 years ago these people were like the happening people in every area influence finances today today they will cough and there's nobody to arise and help them it's a spirit you you will now come and think okay it's just because this one didn't go to school no 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 there is a spirit you may write 20 prayer requests and those 20 prayer requests are caused by one just one spirit and the moment the power of god touches you you will start seeing a ripple effect of open doors that's what usually happens all of a sudden somebody who promised to help you after six years now says uh -uh, i told you to send me your number that day no he just thinks he's realizing it but something made him the king could not sleep and he called he said come uh, bring me this mordecai did this so 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 and so did they reward him mordecai had done that he had never offended the king as far as the bible records yet they did not bless him remembrance does not happen through charm there is a spirit that sponsors men to remember you do you know brothers and sisters i have learned through life that the mountain that stands before you is within the capacity of someone to crumble and solve it for you but until the spirit of god moves those people they will never help you don't forget my teaching on the gift of men listen to that teaching again it's a powerful secret one of the most there are seven mysteries and secrets that god gave me one of it is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers overnight your life can change because the right person steps into your life overnight you can die because the wrong person stepped into your life there are some of us what you are receiving tonight is grace for the right people to come there are too many people in your life none of them is right all the trouble in your life can be traced to certain individuals that hop their way through your life no have i not said it's up to you to make the world work right now and we're going to engage the world this night violently violently please drop your pride drop everything and let's cry before the god of heaven and say lord step in step in step in change my story don't pretend like everything is working change my story lord i thank you a and b and c area they are working well i give you the glory but lord this area i've i've come before you tonight trusting you for grace trusting you for grace trusting you for grace he reigns he reigns he is standing by my side to bring his word to pass. He reigns. He reigns. How God is an awesome. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. outside you may be online it doesn't matter if you cannot insist listen if you are embarrassed to be desperate about your miracle you do not deserve it please hear me let me repeat myself 
if you are embarrassed and ashamed to be desperate about your miracle you do not deserve it sir you do not deserve it there must be a desperation you want the anointing you don't you don't pursue it passively and carelessly and casually and hope it to come upon your life no sir no sir you will seek it like a treasure that is missing hallelujah tonight i want us to pray don't don't look faith is not foolishness this is a factory where god produces miracles so you, you you are going to have to trust god get angry over what is not working give thanks for what is working but insist insist let me show you something sit down let me show you something before we pray john 15 if you can give it to us john 15 let's look at something jesus said john 15 let me show you how passionate jesus is in us producing results john 15. we'll read from verse 5. verse 5 down to 8. listen this is what jesus is saying i am the vine who is the vine who is the vine but he says ye are the i've taught again the fruits come from the you are the fruit bearing part of me are we together when you come to a tree and you don't find um, um fruit you don't start insulting the root you look at the branch that's the obvious part now the branch depends on the vine however the branch is the fruit bearing part it displays the beauty and the strength of the root and jesus says i am the vine the invisible equation the invisible part and then he says you are the branches listen he that abided in me and i in him what will happen please read on the same person will do what bear how much much fruit then he says for without me he can do nothing we're reading to verse 8 he says if a man abide not in me he is cast forth as a branch and is withered and men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are born seven if ye abide in me uh-huh and my words abide in you ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you read verse eight if you are a christian one two read hearing i want you to change bear much fruit with produce results ready let's read it now herein is my father glorified that ye produce results so hold on hold on don't rush so by producing results you testify that everything i said in the word you make men believe me when your life produces results so if 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 your life does not produce results men have a right to doubt me are we together because you are the other part of god remember he's the head and you are the body but this is a mystery you don't see that head but the body is a reflection of the quality of the head i always give an an, an, an analogy with with a jimmy's uh, um, child the daughter every time she comes you see her well dressed happy he takes care of her um he loves her but much more than that for his namesake are we together if you see the daughter running around no shoes no nothing you look at him and look at his wife and say why are you people irresponsible nobody blames a child for being a child they blame the parents for not being good parents and so god is saying my testament is under pressure on earth and i am depending on the fruits that you produce when you are healed then that word jehovah rapha now becomes proven in the lives of men nobody can no longer say god is not a good god god wants you to produce results you have to understand this it's not something you have to coerce him he wants it for his namesake it is in his interest praise the lord when i hear that anyone who is part of this ministry is doing well in any area i am happy i feel very proud of them 
I'm very, very happy. If you're not doing well, I'm there for you. But if you're doing well, I'm proud of you. I'm still proud of you even if you're not doing well. But you should do well. You have to do well. Are we together? Yeah. Hearing is my father glorified. Give it to us again. That you bear much fruit. Results. You know, many people say results don't matter. It's a joke. What else is the is the yardstick if results don't matter what else don't you know that even loving god and knowing god is results right the dear lady shared a testimony of a brother who was drinking and smoking anything available and now all of a sudden the guy is madly in love with god that's transformation that's results if he goes back to his friends and they say can you taste it as usual say no 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 i'm a changed person uh, it's not the issue of temptation i am changed transformed by a reality are we together when people who have concluded about you and said sam you will never rise and all of a sudden you rise like an edifice and they say everybody from your village does not rise and all of a sudden you rise pastor alpha ah you won't go anywhere listen do you know I love the way God is. He will allow your enemies to finish talking. Then he'll say, let's start proving them wrong. One by one by one by one. That's what God is doing to someone who has carried his big mouth to talk against your God. In this year of triumph, God will surprise them. Do you know? Listen, there are people who scorn at believers happily. Every time they see people loving God, they sit down and discuss them. And to a point that some of you are embarrassed, your phone rings, it's a Christian ringtone, you, you, you off it quickly. Because you, you don't want to shame this God who is disappointing you. My God, the Bible says when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like what? Damn. It will be like a dream. He will say no, 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 no. Which promise? Which promise are you talking about? They say the one you know. He said, no, no, you are, you are joking. Because people stratify us and keep us at a level and don't want us to rise so that their prophecy will be self-fulfilling. But then when the God of heaven is ready to pick people up, you know, I was blessed by the testimony of a gentleman. I don't know if he's here, the guy in Kogi that got a job. What a blessed testimony. All of a sudden, God just changed his story. Look at the lady that God healed of HIV. I know some of you think it's a lie. This is what we are trying to destroy because if how else do you want to even carry the healing anointing? If you are still calculating the physics behind the healing of whatever, how did A and B become C? You are not a Christian because the Bible said, my sheep hear my voice. The voice of another, they will not hear. This is what makes people to carry news all around thinking every man of God is faking miracles because according to their understanding issue they will not directly come and say we don't believe it but the miracle will happen right before their eyes and they say no 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 it, let's let's verify when the devil afflicts you you don't verify it at once you believe it people come and say satan spoke to me he said go and kill yourself why didn't you call us for verification but when god speaks now people you know it just tells you the mindset of people how much people do not believe god please tonight be a believer be a believer don't just stand up don't just lift up hands to receive as though um let's see if god will no god will change your story and beat you beyond your imagination hallelujah one of the things God told me will happen tonight is a dramatic outpouring of the mantle of favor. I've been praying. Do you know, listen, do you know, I don't share too much of my personal experiences, but I prayed for one year for the ministry of the gift of men. One year, one year. Lord, send strategic people to my life. Koinonia is blessed to have men look we are going to pray for the gift of men you hear me say this thing all the time if a man does not show up in your life you are in trouble you are in trouble or if the wrong person shows up it's still the same thing as that breakthrough not coming because it will not move your life forward one man showing up in your life can say david dam come i 
I just feel like blessing you. You sang a song and I had and I want to bless you. What does it take to produce your album? Ah, oh, sir, to produce one song in Lagos is 250,000. He said, okay, how many tracks do you have? 10. And then you are there thinking the man is like you and he's listening to you. When you finish, he now says, this is a check of 4 million naira. Please, when you do everything, let me know. And then you leave the man and say, so what is the catch? He said, there is no catch. When it is favor, there is no catch. God will just surprise you and leave you like that. Somebody will just build a house. It's called prepared blessings. See, if you don't believe in what I'm telling you, you can go home, honestly, because this is what we are going to deal with tonight. Triumph. Thanks be to God who causes us always, always, always to triumph. Always to triumph. That you come for koinonia empty-handed and as soon as the service is over, someone walks to you and says, I don't know you, but God sent me into your life to say from now till September, every month I should be giving you 20,000. You don't believe it can happen? I hear you are five in your family and your dad is dead, your mom is dead. From today, I become a father in this family. Simple. For starters, move out of this place into a two-bedroom flat. Look, let me tell you something. It's called quantum leap. I'm trusting that God will take us into this dimension. David, you will do a little experiment. Eh? You will take three steps and then you will jump forward like a frog. Ready? Now, watch. Let me show you the difference between progress and a quantum leap. Are you ready? This is progress. Two, three. Now, jump. This is a quantum leap. I know it's a little analogy, but see if you if there is no provision like this your lifetime is too small for you to be successful at the rate humans move you will never build a house till you die at the rate your salary is being paid you will never do anything useful at the rate church services are held you will never know god with the amount of the sermons you need a quantum leap i have witnessed it in my life many people here are witnesses of it where god will just all of a sudden change somebody's story i tell you i feel the anointing as i'm saying this this is what many of us need tonight a quantum leap this issue of moving here and there okay thank god you are now employed you are earning forty thousand. let's be sincere let's be sincere in the name of jesus christ who died and rose again in how many years will forty thousand build a house for you now i know many people say it does not matter it matters to any responsible person how much does it take to marry forty thousand the auditorium is how much how much does it take to a child's school fees a child's school fees right now a child who cannot talk the school fees is hundred hundred and something thousand to just teach them how to play and you plan to have five you better listen to what i'm telling you this is why people are, are depressed depressed someone is driving and talking to himself till he dies till he dies because of depression we need a quantum leap Where the grace of God comes upon your life. Divine acceleration. Triumph. Triumph. Shaka Pataya. Triumph. By the Spirit. There are ministries that need quantum leaps. If all you do is to invite members through posters. Let me tell you the truth. Get set for empty pews. Please help those under the anointing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? if all you want to do in life is to move like men men i'm ready more than ever let me tell you it's like a flight i've been having an interesting experience with the holy spirit in the last two three weeks my goodness is is a is is a preparation for a quantum leap this man you see has gone no I'm, I'm i'm only saying you better believe god and arise don't let anybody tell you don't listen to him run away from them they will help you when you are in trouble you will be surprised to see how the vicissitudes of life will distract you all these problems we are solving is to give us space to pursue our assignment 
not to build a house for building sake not to buy a car for buying a car sake not to eat well for whatever it is so that if you decide to lock yourself in your house to worship god for 24 hours nobody will call you and say why are you worshiping god you can't be in church and someone calls you and says you better come and on the machine on which machine You move mountains, you cause walls to fall, and with your power, you perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible, and we're standing here only because for you move mountains. Brothers, let me talk to you. Do you know right now? Please come. When you see a gentleman like this, do you know if this gentleman is successful, many elders will ask him, what are you doing? In other words, how come your life is this fast? Society has made people's growth rate so slow. If you buy a car at 45, they say, wow, wonderful. You are responsible. But you buy a car at 22 and see people say you are a witch. If they see a young man succeed, you see everybody saying, uh -uh, at this life, two plus two, it doesn't add up. God wants to accelerate the kingdom. The coming of Jesus is near. There is a lot we must do for the kingdom. Listen, you can't spend your life looking for money. It's a cost. It's a cost. It's a cost to spend your life looking for what to eat and what to drink. You will never serve God that way. Pray eight hours. When you are hungry, you are joking. You may endure, but your children will not endure. Listen, hold on. Please, I want you to pay attention to what I'm telling you. You see me preaching from my heart. Otherwise, we'll keep playing games. And at the end, many Christians will backslide, Pastor Jakes. They will leave God. How many believers do you know? Who are not standing again because the reality of life we said this thing many years people insulted us and said we we're noisemakers those people today some of them are not born again they are not even in christ again they've gotten into all kinds of things survival is a cause you should resolve that issue and spend your life serving god if you're a brother here when i say pray please pray pray the sisters can join but brothers you must pray you shouldn't stand and just be leave any man of god thing and cry listen there are some of you as you are listening to me right now there are seven siblings or six who are waiting for you to take care of them you have your own mother you have your own father and I, how are you going to live that's the cause of depression and then god calls you into ministry no job you want to marry you want to move forward you, you must be a joker you must access another mystery brothers and sisters you must trust god for a quantum leap tonight there is a grace there is a grace the name is a grace there is an unction that helps men and expedites their process in life the climate is too harsh for an average young man the probability for establishment is is almost like passing through the eye of a needle the factors are too many and we're standing here only because and we're standing here only because you made a way made a way when our backs were against the wall and it looked the sick, it was over. You made a way. And we're standing here only because you made a way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
there are people here listen home and abroad their entire families are earning 200,000 but every week they are doing physiotherapy and chemotherapy for someone I heard of a woman 70,000 naira every week God is my witness they spend on is it physiotherapy or chemotherapy or something like that and there is no guarantee the person you see how the devil works until all your money finishes then the person will now die peacefully and leave you with trouble how many of you right now nobody to help you in your life lift your voice in one minute and cry cry for the help of God Koinonia, pray, pray. Shabakato sebara balaba. Zakata baroko to sopregeti. Shegete bereko sopra la balaba balaba. Don't know how, but you did it. Lord, I cry. Hear me, O oh God. My life must make progress. My life must make progress. Outside, are you praying? My life must make progress. My life must make progress. hallelujah 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 prayer point number two listen listen i want us to break out of cycles tonight are we together i'm going to minister to you but there are people here you are seeing the patterns of your families reproducing themselves in your life nobody rises beyond the level go to school or not it's a pattern you must break don't watch it happen and say it's all right nothing solves itself by itself you must engage it with faith lord this poverty thing i've seen it in my family we are not lazy people but i'm seeing it come this lack of being serious with god lift your voice and break every cycle lift your voice and command accept yourself accept yourself Accept yourself. Are you praying? Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. There are people you see who never last in marriage three years no matter what happens maximum three years one nonsense must happen and scatter the marriage are we together there are some of you listen the mysteries that destroy your family is men keep cheating you whether in business whether anytime there is wickedness you are the only one it happens to it's not a coincidence when they want to scam someone you are the first they find when accident is about to happen is when you are crossing the road the car will hit your leg i like you to pray and say no more i insist i've been keeping quiet about this but tonight i place a demand lift your voice no more no more no more it shall come to pass in that day that the burden from, shall be taken from off your shoulder the yoke from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points before I begin to minister to us. Listen. Hallelujah. Jesus said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself. If Satan finds what belongs to him in you, he's authorized to destroy you. We are going to pray and we are going to say, Lord, whatever legal access the devil has over my life and destiny, I apply the blood. I invoke the mystery of the blood. Lift your voice and pray. Legal access. I apply the blood. Are you praying? I apply the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood on my children. I apply the blood. Pray on my husband, on my wife, on my business, on my ministry, on my job. I apply the blood. No divination, no witchcraft, no enchantment arising against my life shall prevail. standing keep standing everyone we are going to pray now i tell you i'm angry in my spirit luke 18 verse 1 please quickly luke 18 verse 1 and he spake a parable luke 18 verse 1 and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint verse 2 there's something I'm looking for saying there was in a city a judge which feared not God neither regarded man verse 3 and there was a widow in that city and she came to him saying avenge me of my adversary stop there God is a God of vengeance listen listen I know that's the nasty side of God but the God I serve is not only merciful God, there are people who don't need mercy they need vengeance you don't pray if you don't believe it but let me tell you something there is a God of vengeance he said let God arise and let all his enemies be scattered lift your voice and cry Lord avenge I cry for your vengeance over the works of darkness in my life my family Koinonia pray Arise Sokoto Pakaya Righteousness and justice At the foundations of his throne Oh God of vengeance Arise Oh God of vengeance Arise against the wicked Oh God of vengeance Arise Oh God of vengeance Arise against evildoers. Arise against them that seek to feed on the flesh of your people. Hallelujah. Listen. There was a man in the book of Esther called Haman. Have you heard about Haman? That man was conspiring to destroy the agenda of God. Not just the Jews. The agenda of God. The apple of his eyes. And then the Bible says through a lot of activities. When that plot was gotten, the king sent. And he said they should go and hang him. He already built a gallow in advance. In advance we live in a wicked world brothers and sisters let me tell you 
it's not all about vengeance but there is a dimension of it that is necessary if you must break through the wickedness of men is beyond imagination you are going to pray it again lord there are powers that have tied down my life and my family arise oh god of vengeance arise oh god of vengeance arise oh god of vengeance hallelujah hallelujah listen listen i was told the story of a woman pastor jakes married a man that god had blessed and then the man died as soon as the man died strangers came from left right and center and told her you have no inheritance in this they stripped that woman to the last of everything banished her and her children to go men they will smile at you and talk against you in the secret and hope for tragedy to come upon your life so that they will rejoice in your pain no you rejoice in my pain the god of vengeance will arise for you i tell you only a wicked man will see someone in pain and rejoice over it he said rejoice not over me my enemies though i fall yet i will rise again how many of our parents were betrayed by their best friends they lost their job because of someone they knew was the person who signed the check sign them off say destroy them the bible says a man's enemies listen 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 koinonia i know many of us are young people but let me tell you when you become a leader or when you become one who is in any position of responsibility you will appreciate this prayer there are men who will kill you and bury you smiling they will kill you and bury you smiling when judas came to kiss jesus a kiss is a sign of love correct yet a man used that sign of love as a symbol to an enemy this is the guy this is how you will kill him how many people kissed you into your suffering today They kissed you with a stupid advice and that's that's what has landed your life today they told you stop tithing these men of god are crooks they have destroyed your life are we together tonight i want us to engage the word to engage the word with your spirit if you insist brothers and sisters god will give you a breakthrough if you insist god will give you a breakthrough are we together now i want you to pray one last prayer and then i'll begin to minister by the spirit lord visit the root cause of my challenges i may not know what it is i only know the effect oh god go to the root it says every tree the axe is placed at the root every tree my father has not planted Lord, go to the root cause of the barrenness in my life. The root cause as to why finances cannot stay in my hands. The root cause. Are you praying? hallelujah hallelujah listen if after tonight's meeting you return with a testimony nobody will ask you to run to the house of god you will go by yourself do you know how many why many people never see god the truth is they are tired of lack of results they are tired of it jumping around doing all kinds of things yes you don't love god just for results but you've heard me say it again at a point in your christian experience 
results must come as consolations to your serving God. Visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit us tonight. Let me make an altar call. Let's start with the altar call first. So that we'll finish right now. Please everyone standing, no moving around. Outside your attention. There are people right here. Everything we boast of is in Christ. If you are not in Christ, there is no guarantee. Please listen very carefully. If you are not in Christ, there is no guarantee whatsoever. Are we together now? So you are here. We are talking about witchcraft. You have joined us to pray congratulations. But nothing will happen to you until there is a translation. Because when a man is not in Christ, the Bible says he is in the kingdom of darkness. The very domain of darkness. Are we together now? So when that prayer of salvation is offered in faith, there is a spiritual transfer. It is only on that basis you can challenge darkness. There are two categories of people very quickly. I'm going to make the altar call quickly. When you come, Pastor Jakes will lead you in prayer. And then we'll take over and fly tonight. And trust God to take us to a realm where we will never return. Never return to this level. In the name of Jesus. You are here and you are saying, man of God, it's as if you are just prophesying to me. You are right. It's you I'm speaking to. And I'm going to make an altar call. One, maybe two, three minutes wherever you are outside i know there are lots of people you are saying man of god can god forgive me yes he can can god give me a new beginning absolutely no one has made it in my family you will be the first if and only you receive him it says as many as believed in him even to them that i mean as many as received him even to them that believed in him he gave them power to become power to become you do not have the power but you have the will and you can choose right now i'm going to make an altar call whether you are giving your heart to jesus for the first time or you want to rededicate your life man of god i gave my life to christ but somehow things have gone haywire no problem you are welcome if you are outside run like there's fire on the mountain any of the overflows you are inside here you run out i will count one to five very quickly one run like there's fire on the mountain if you are thinking about it go back to your seat Give Jesus praise. Please clear the way for them. There are people running outside. Let Jesus Christ step into your destiny. Koinonia, can you motivate them? Appreciate them as they come. Don't let any friend tell you why you're disgracing yourself. Shame the devil over your life tonight. God bless you. Keep coming. Man of God, you don't know what I've done. Just make that step of faith and come quickly run to Jesus run to Jesus keep coming keep coming there are still more people there are still more people if you came with a friend and he's trying to stop you leave him alone and come run to Jesus Every one of us in front, can you just lift up your hands? Lifting up your hands is a sign of surrender. Are you following? Please just lift up your hands and pray this prayer sincerely from your heart. Jesus loves you. I want you to understand that. Just say, dear Lord Jesus. Say it out loud. I want to hear you speak. Say, dear Lord Jesus. I come before you. I ask for forgiveness for my sins. I believe in the power of your blood. I believe in the power of your salvation. Forgive me of all my sins. Thank you for new life. Thank you for newness in Christ Jesus. From today, I'm a child of God. I'm born again. My spirit is new. My heart is new before God. In the name of Jesus. Still lift up your hands while I quickly pray for you. 
Father, thank you for these precious ones. Thank you for the power of your blood. My Father, I ask even as their hands are lifted up, let your love, Lord, descend upon them. I ask that, Lord, the love of God will permit, the love of Christ will be shed abroad in their hearts by the Holy Ghost. Thank you for their lives, God. Thank you for writing their names in the Lamb's book of life. We give you praise. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that indwells them now. Thank you for the Holy Spirit helping them to walk in your ways, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for your glory upon them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Please just look at me. Just the moment you turn, just in between the aisle, just you'll see somebody waving behind you. Please just follow him. We'd like to get your name, okay? Your name and some of your contact to get to pray with you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Precious saints, can we celebrate Jesus for this? Can we put our hands together and celebrate Jesus? Celebrate them. Congratulations. Congratulations. God bless you. Please, let's attend to them quickly so that they can come. We're about to pray now. Hallelujah. We're about to pray. Before we pray, let me talk to two people. There's one inside, one outside that God is visiting their family. There's a mighty anointing that will come on them. One sister, a sister or so, someone inside and someone in the overflow outside. The power of God is going to come on that person now. God is bringing a strange deliverance. I'm seeing a strange deliverance. Bring the person one inside, one outside. I just want to speak to them. Please quickly, we have a lot to do tonight and we want to conserve time. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Just bring the people. Father, end witchcraft now in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that the reign of darkness is over. Bring this lady for me. Free now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Free. I'm going to pray for you. There will be a mighty deliverance right now. Listen, what is deliverance? Deliverance is not crying and rolling on the floor. Deliverance is by the power of God separating you from the spirits and the influences that are responsible for the challenges in your life. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. I'm already seeing in the spirit. Mighty. Especially today, God is visiting visitors. If you are here for the first time, God is visiting visit us in a very strange way. Lift your hands. Don't say anything. Just lift your hands. Just keep your hands lifted. Please bring them. Just keep your hands lifted. Keep your hands lifted. God is touching people. It's a foolish instruction, but it's what the Lord is telling me. Just keep your hands lifted. Like fire. It's coming on people inside and outside. Bring them out. God is visiting visitors. 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 Doesn't mean other people are not being touched. But particularly visitors. Father, spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying 
there are men and women here right now under strange influences that has tied their lives their destinies in the name that is above all names whoever under the sound of my voice inside and outside if there is any spirit motivating the tragedies in your life as we shout that name Jesus there will be an eruption of fire in this place and all of a sudden God will begin ministering to people are you ready now at the count of three one two three they must pass from their hiding place they must depart from their hiding place they must depart from their hiding place at the sound of his voice I command every spirit I command every devil strong spirits tying down the destinies of men I command you right now there is mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside the power of witchcraft being broken being broken being broken God is addressing issues of oppression oppression Shakataya it must end now it must come to an end now it must come to an end now lift your hands hallelujah I'm seeing a handwriting and I'm seeing setback and then slash delay that's what God wants to deal with right now God wants to deal with it you don't need to know whether you belong to the category the fire of God will locate you right now father I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost anyone under the sound of my voice shakatabakata under the yoke of setbacks whether you are a visitor whether you've been here for a long time in the name of Jesus I command that spirit to leave you now I command that spirit to leave you now the power of God is touching people delay, delay, delay delay you are a strange spirit I curse you by the God of heaven delay destiny delay achievement that spirit I cost that spirit I cost that spirit bring the mommy out there's a mighty deliverance happening to her delay over your family broken 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 by the spirit hello Madonna hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is giving me a strange instruction please sisters lay your hands on your womb lay your hands on your stomach something remarkable is going to happen here right now there is a kind of deliverance God is doing I don't know what I'm even doing but Lord I pray right now this is not for everybody but I am seeing the Lord is instructing that they lay their hands and I'm going to pray a prayer for you you'll be surprised every stranger hiding in any sister's body that is responsible for the manipulation of their destinies in the name of Jesus 
by this prophetic instruction at the count of three release them now one two three release them now 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 Johnson Johnson I'm hearing a name Johnson 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 we are still praying please Johnson my God I tell you I see this fire falling on sisters I don't know what it is with ladies God is God is ministering a serious deliverance to ladies serious deliverance to ladies hallelujah hallelujah you are here in this place listen you never rise beyond a certain level it's not that you don't start please listen carefully i'm speaking by the spirit the moment is like there is a spiritual embargo you get to that height you must crash down wherever you are i'm prophesying now and i'm praying for you the power of God is looking for those people. The power of God is looking for those people. You rise to a level and fall. You rise to a level and fall. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Inside and outside, wherever you are, I release that fire like a messenger to your life. Like a messenger to your life. I cast that witchcraft now i cast that witchcraft now hallelujah the lord is showing me a vision my god hold on i'm seeing deliverance for children like little children the power of god is coming on small children in this place I'm seeing children being delivered. Some initiated into occultism. Some initiated into this. Let's just walk the way God is. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak to every little child in this place who is a victim of any satanic manipulation. Wherever they are, don't be surprised if you see little children manifesting. Now, wherever they are, inside and outside, I'm prophesying that the spirits symbols just the symbols please. right now wherever the children are i'm prophesying that the power of god will touch them touch them i set them free from activities of witchcraft occultism any kind of initiation if there is any little child here under any yoke of bondage i set them free now I set them free now hallelujah hallelujah my friend lift your hands that gentleman going tap him hi there is hardship in your family and the Lord is asking me to cause it right now in the name of Jesus I cause hardship let the anointing of the spirit come on you now i curse that spirit the spirit of hardship i curse you now i curse you now i curse you now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah listen if you are here and you have any blood disease just blood disease any kind any kind blood related issue Lay your hand on your chest. I want to pray for you right now. Blood related issue. Genotype. Whatever it is. Um, 
or any kind of thing maybe any sickness that is blood related please i want to pray for you right now the lord is giving me that instruction very quickly i want to pray for you i'm seeing a lady who is as god is about to change her genotype now 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 a dramatic change of genotype from as to ss from as to aa by the spirit by the spirit by the spirit hallelujah hallelujah please if you come from a family where no one in your family is working lift your hands nobody no job nobody just please just do what i'm asking you to do let's save time just lift your hands nobody at all is working no matter what happens just lift your hands i want to pray for you lift your hands i want to pray for you jesus 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 i'm i'm looking at hands lifted and and for some of the hands i'm seeing like a rope this is not necessarily you this is a representation of your family and i want to pray for you in the name of jesus i stretch my hands get ready for the power of god right now wherever you are even those who didn't lift their hands i decree and declare that that yoke of joblessness comes under attack right now right now right now right now right now i release them i release them i release their jobs i release their jobs by the power of the holy ghost 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 we end joblessness here right now right now in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah the spirit of revelation is coming on 17 people one seven one seven one seven at the count of four this is the instruction god gives me unusual access to illumination lord where are they inside and outside one two three strange illumination four take it now take it now the spirit of revelation on common access to the secrets of the kingdom on common access 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 i release it in the spirit access 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 hallelujah please make sure you receive every word that is coming every word come god is going to use you come come and stand here lift your hands stand up in the name of jesus i don't know you huh but an anointing will come upon your life today and god is going to change your life like day and night receive that grace right now strange grace step into that dimension that dimension there are impartations going on now let's just receive the impartations impartations not healings not healings impartations impartations i release the gifts of the spirit right now right now i release the gifts of the spirit lord stir up the fountain stir up the waters stir up the waters i release the gifts of the spirit strange gifts strange gifts strange manifestations of power of power healing anointings healing anointings i activate healing anointings right now healing anointings step into it step into it outside inside step into it god is releasing mantles mantles of healing ancient mantles of healing ancient mantles grace for barrenness grace for barrenness grace for barrenness healing barren cases ah. 
Hallelujah. Hold on. I'm still praying. I'm still praying. God wants to release the healing anointing. Let's just stay here with this healing thing. God wants to release. There are many more people. I'm not seeing them receive it yet. Father, you want to release this grace. There is such a grace as a healing anointing. I pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands inside and outside like a tornado. May the power of God come on you now. Everyone, everyone, everywhere, men, women, take it. Take it. Take it. Fire upon your spirit. Hello, Himadonai. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Hello, Himadonai. Thy kingdom come. Hello, Himadonai. I don't know how we are going to manage this now ushers there is a prophecy for you the lord says i should tell you from now as you hold people and as you shake them there will be a transference on every one usher i'm prophesying now that's why i say i don't know what we'll do ushers ushers receive that mantle receive that mantle a strange healing grace coming on our ushers supernatural supernatural the unction take it take it where you are let that fire come upon you upon ushers in a strange way upon ushers in a strange way the grace for the miraculous no longer will you just hold people no longer will you just welcome people as you clean the seats you release strange mantles. Hallelujah. We'll soon pray for the sick. But please everyone lift your hands. Lift your hands. I want to pray. I'm seeing people here. The anointing for business and entrepreneurship. Just keep your hands. That's why, please keep your hands. I want to pray for you. Don't say I'm not calling to a businessman. That's none of your business. Just listen to what I'm saying. I want to pray for you. It's a grace. It's a grace. I believe maybe in the course of the service, we'll call a Jimmy here to just prophesy that grace and release it truly, truly upon your life. Lift your hands. Brothers and sisters, there is a grace for the marketplace. You don't go there through desire. It's not that you are a, mon a money monger, you just go, but strange ideas strange insight do you know i'm seeing a number four and one 41 this will affect many people inside and outside whether you are a businessman or not it's not what i'm asking you that grace will locate you where you are a grace for the marketplace lord in the name of jesus inside and outside all the overflows online anyone here who must step into that grace whether you know anything about the marketplace or not take that grace now take that grace now i release it supernatural access 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 to business strategies access to ideas take it right now Receive it, receive it. It's coming on people. Receive it, receive it. Receive it, it's coming on you. So that you will go and prosper. 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 There is a woman, one of our mothers, this grace that I'm talking about, 
is coming on you now. Now. One of our mothers, one of our mothers is receiving that grace. God is releasing that grace. Whether you are inside or outside, whoever it is, I release that grace now. There is a woman I'm seeing in the spirit. You must take that grace now. You must take that grace now. Uncommon ability, uncommon ability, uncommon insight for the works of your hands to begin to produce fruits. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, look at me. Please help them. How many of you are trusting God to restore something that has left your life? It can be anything. How many of you are trusting God? I want to release that grace now. And I want you to believe it. Some of you had destiny help us. But something happened and they left your life. Some of you had quality relationships. But it left your life. Some of you had finances, but it left your life. Some of you even had certain levels of graces. The Lord is asking me to prophesy restoration. Kai, this is going to land on people's head. I'm saying this thing. There are physical gifts you used to see in your life. Not gifts of the spirit. Not just gifts of the spirit. Gifts. Gifts. Endowments. For some reason it disappeared. Some of you are actually worshippers, singers, but that grace left is coming back. It's coming back. I invoke the grace that he has put upon my life. I prophesy strange restoration. I call it by name and I command it back to your life. I call it by name. Everything you once were that you now are not I command you to become it now. I command you to become it now. I release that grace. I release that grace. Receive it. I release that grace. I release that grace. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. There are some of us, hear me. You have been doing certain things. But the anointing for what you are doing has not yet come on your life this is a very serious prayer i want to pray for you you have been doing business with the brain of a money monger but not the grace for the marketplace you have been singing only with the voice of a musician but not the spirit of david i want to release the anointing of your office the anointing that has to do with your function please i want you to believe what i'm praying hear me hear me hear me it's one thing david was anointed to step into his office are you anointed for what you are doing i know you are working you want promotion is there an unction you are working with or are you just working with certificate at the count of three i want you to shout jesus there will be distribution of graces it's like an alignment the anointing the oil of your call the oil of what you are doing is about to locate you father in the name of jesus i pray right now whoever is functioning without an anointing functioning without the oil i stand upon this ground and i prophesy at the count of three may the grace that will distinguish you come upon you get ready now one one two two three receive that grace now take it take it grace grace for your academics grace for the ministry grace Help me. The chains are gone. God help me now. Hey, hey. Oh, my God. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please. I'm seeing something happening here right now. There are people who are receiving grace for speed. And they will start running physically. Hold them. Hold them so they don't injure people. I release the grace. You will control yourself physically. Running speed physically. I release that grace now. Receive grace for speed. Receive grace for speed. Right now. Right now. I command you to run. Run in the spirit. Catch up. Catch up. Catch up. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. I release speed. I release speed. I release speed. Speed to your life. Speed to your destiny. Speed to your life. Speed to your destiny. Speed to your life. Speed to your destiny. Words you speak, the things around your arms run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. You took away the chains that held me back. Held me back. Hey, holy shit. Much more than I desire. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray for the sick now. Listen. Please. Three things. Let me just give three instructions. Hold on please everyone. The worship team will continue right now. Now we are going to be very fast about this number one. Number two. Please. If you have not written your prayer request or the ones of your loved ones please i permit you put on your phone and call them tell them to send it as a text message write it we are going to be praying here tonight and we are going to be asking the fire of god to fall on request don't assume if you have not written it no problem settle down think well and write you are here you are trusting god for healing i understand there are a few sick people that they brought around please we are going to do it this way if your case is very sensitive then you can bring them to the front here but those outside please just walk to the um well there are a lot more people outside really well for those who can come in let's see but for those who may not make it you can walk to the front and then down there i'm here pastor jakes is here um we'll just station ourselves one one and then the other people will just support so that we can do it very fast praise god thank god pastor jakes is here and jimmy is here hallelujah praise god hold on so outside you can just walk at your various projector stands and stand there for those who have come in just allow them don't stop them let them come in that does not mean everybody will stream in please are we together if you're standing just stand trust god if they don't ask you what is wrong with you don't worry they just lay hands on you praise the lord Ejimi, please you help us Ejimi will be outside here and Pastor Jakes will be down outside there. Praise the Lord. Benga, you go with Pastor Jakes. You will help Pastor Jakes outside. Um, Pastor Alpha, you will be outside. Just help them. And then, um, who, who is around again? Is Femi around? Okay, so you can just come and help me here. So let's do it that way very fast. Very, very fast. If there are more people, there are still promises here. Michael is here. So maybe you can add one. Okay. Promise, just follow. Promise, follow Pastor Jakes. Michael, follow. Hey, Jimmy, please. Let's do it very, very fast. While, hold on, please. Don't be distracted. Don't cut the flow. We are going to be very fast at this and we'll pray. And then I'll speak over your life. Many miracles are happening even whilst you are seated. Don't be distracted. I expect you to be writing your request and be praying in the spirit. Hallelujah. For those stationed at different points, 
whether at the back any of the overflows i like you to believe god for a miracle right now believe god for a miracle you can see someone like our daddy he has come with his crutch believing god to walk you believe you walk sir you believe the lord will heal you so get ready to walk you see there are people stationed around we are going to pray this will be very very fast and then the lord will help us in the name of jesus christ hallelujah father thank you let me start with our daddy first how long have you been like this sir six months stroke who brought him who came with our daddy you came by yourself sir came by myself by yourself from where sir was station here yeah. you cannot walk i can move with you this walking stick which but of the legs I, has a problem this is the leg this is stroke yes can you lift it no i can't i can't the hand i can't lift hold it. on look at this sir look at me you believe in jesus i believe you believe in the power of I jesus believe. lord i introduce your kingdom to this man's life right now in the name of jesus christ huh the lord will begin to touch you your hands everything is already dead sir lift your leg lift your leg just do what i'm asking you to do lift your leg lift it lift your leg lift your leg start try to walk gently come Come, try to walk gently. Come, give me the stick. Look at me. Look at your stick. Come, come. come. Don't be afraid. Come. Lift your leg. Look at this. Look at what is happening to this man. Came with this stick. Look at this. 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 Find a chair and just keep him, let him sit down while the power of God touches him. Sir, you came here by yourself. Um, trust him. Okay, and the boy has gone. Okay, he's somewhere. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God you believe has begun this miracle. You will perfect it. Look for a stick for him there. Hold your stick by yourself and go. Don't put it on the ground. Hold it up. Walk by yourself and go. Give Jesus praise. Look at what God is Heal now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is destroying witchcraft in your life in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Someone is still sick here someone is still sick here i'm feeling the healing anointing pulling out from me someone is still sick here no 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 i'll pray for you but i'm saying i feel it within this vicinity from ministers roll down choir someone is sick come let me pray for you come out. lift your hands jesus someone is still sick here. Someone has to be healed here now. Someone is sick here. I know when the anointing has released me to do something else. I still feel that someone is sick. Someone is sick. Someone is still sick. Lord, let that person be healed. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. Just this vicinity. I sense it's like, you know how someone is pulling your cloth? Jesus said, virtue has gone out of me. That's what I'm still feeling. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
there's a gentleman here your elder brother has a case i may not be able to mention the case this is a health related case but this is a challenge with married people this has affected is one of the worst things that can happen to a man in marriage and the lord is bringing a miracle right now right now elder brother supernatural miracle is coming to that person by the power of the holy spirit Hi. you are holding her but something is leaving her to you now you who is holding her something is leaving her to you there is there is virtue i see a transference of grace from a jimmy's wife to you you are doing your work as an usher but you have received something very strange and very powerful you see let me tell you something if if you do not you see hold on walking in the anointing is more than having it having the anointing is very different from being able to navigate the pathways of the anointing if not you will be anointed but you will not be able to dispense it fruitfully because you are just guessing it's like a man shooting anyhow you must have discernment many people think all it takes once you can speak and someone falls they say i am anointed what do you know about the anointing the anointing is more than releasing something mysterious to somebody it must accomplish something this you need more discernment than even the anointing the substance the ability to look at for instance like these people who have been touched now you are an anointed man of god you are finished praying you go to the next thing you see insensitivity in the spirit this is not guesswork if you are guessing you will not see the results like this it's not it's not guessing so please learn it i know that this is a place where we value the anointing and there are many of you you are waiting for me to prophesy release impartation after this now it's not it's not just about holding people ah hold this lady hold Mukhtar's wife an anointing is coming on her please hold her her and Mata, two of them there is i don't know what it is but i'm seeing i don't know why god is doing this thing it's a strange hallelujah god god is giving two of them strange favor strange favor i see strange favor strange favor america god is giving you access i'm seeing you like a crown coming on your head and god is saying he's giving you strange access strange access strange access strange access strange access Muas, God is giving strange favor. Strange favor. Strange favor. Hallelujah. I don't know what I'm saying, but this is a word for someone. And the Lord is saying, why make it next year when I have destined it to be this year? Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year, this is the word of the Lord. Why make it next year? This is a word for many people. When I've destined it to be this year, as I speak to you, the word is for you. The power of God will locate you. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year, it's the year of triumph. It's the year of triumph. Why make it next year? Just allow me to do my stupidity. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year why make it next year when i have destined it to be this year my god hallelujah there is a lady here you have been disappointed with god right now you actually came help the ushers you came expecting that I would directly call your case and you, you, you pray this thing but now it looks like we're about to pray and I didn't call your case the power of God is coming on you now now as a sign that God had now wherever you are he's locating you now now I 
command that spirit to leave you. I see you in the spirit. Go now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I stretch my hands now and I command by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go now. Peace to your spirit. Every devil carries his nonsense and lives with you. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Pastor Jake is still praying outside. Okay, we can just do it. This is a listen. There are two moments in every miracle service you should not miss. Ah, there is, I mean, God is just doing certain things. It's like something is really happening. Don't worry about what is happening. Impartations. God, see, let me tell you right now, if the anointing comes on you, just know that is the answer to your prayer. This is not a special once the anointing comes on you. Just know that your prayer has been answered. You understand? This is what it doesn't mean if they are not, if you don't fall down, it's not answered. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying this is how God is choosing to confirm to some people now as I'm talking that your prayer, no matter how difficult it is, no matter how difficult your prayer is. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, everyone, please stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. Please, Pastor Jakes, come. What do you mean? Please, okay, he's writing something. Just stretch your hands here and pray. And pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost from the depth of your heart. Stretch your hands. Stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. No, leave her. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands. Pray in the Holy Ghost. 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 Prophesy in the Holy Ghost. Shake it to go to to get up. Rakata kata bakata. So poto so peke te te te. Miracle so God. Testimony so God. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. Visit impossible situations. I tell you, God is moving. I see a cloud. I see a cloud over this prayer request. That's what I see in the spirit. God is moving upon it. Moving upon it. Moving upon it. The Spirit of God is moving over the prayer request, visiting families, releasing angels, releasing angels, visiting the request. I'm seeing the cloud of God's presence, visiting the prayer request. Savior, He can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever, all for a salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus, sing it one more time for God. Mighty and everlasting Father, Master of the Universe, the God that answers by fire. We receive answers by fire in the name of Jesus. Angels of God, are you not ministering spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? We receive angelic ministration and direct answers from heaven 
now in the name of Jesus. The heavens over these requests are open and answers come speedily in the name of Jesus. It has been decreed, it has been ratified, and it is done in the name of Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask, above all that we imagine, is done in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' name we have decreed. Come on, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus mighty praise. Hallelujah. Please, you may still come. Pastor Jake's come. I just feel like doing this is... I, I don't always do this, but I want to prophesy over your lives. And in the name of Jesus, they are my friends. But the Lord is telling me to speak over their lives. They are great men of God in power. But in the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying I should prophesy the next dimension. To prophesy a new level. And in the name of Jesus, I speak it. Step into a new dimension. A Jimmy, God is saying I should release grace for access. I command that grace. Strange access. Strange access. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Strange access. Gifted men coming into your life. Connections with gifted men. In the name of Jesus. And Pastor Jakes, God is giving you influence. Strange influence. Strange influence. Strange influence. Strange influence. It's a very strange apostolic dimension of influence. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will bless them. Wherever your wives are, I bring them into this experience. Now 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 wherever they are i prophesy to tosin wherever she is and i speak to hope you are one so i prophesy as it happens to you i bring your wives into this experience in the name of jesus strange levels of access strange levels of access strange levels of influence hallelujah hallelujah let me do this just once. I spotted Lizzie somewhere. One of the oldest year nine lady. Come. She came in from Abuja. Part of the founding people that started this ministry all the way. And the Lord is saying I should prophesy a release. I told you about ladies who used to climb trees. When this ministry started, no money, no nothing. They were in welfare they were in worship team at the same time they would climb trees and pluck the firewood for cooking for us for the crusades and the lord is saying i should pray and prophesy and open up a new dimension that it is for her does not mean you cannot receive it you see the thing with prophecy is the moment there is hunger it will still land on your head praise the lord father in the name of jesus i lay my hands right now over lizzie and lord jesus i prophesy I prophesy according to the word that you are giving me I open up a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter Shabaka Toto Barekete Zat Kaska Paskata Paskate Pash Legete To Soto Prateke Skobaria Daba A new chapter a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter and as many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter as many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter in the name of Jesus a new chapter listen I prophesy to you a new chapter by the power of the Holy Ghost hallelujah Please lift your hands, we're rounding up. Who is this girl? Come, you. God has chosen to visit you. Come, come and stand here. God is wiping your tears. This prayer I'm praying for you 
will open the tulip gates of your destiny i lay my hands upon you and i command the gates to be open now i stood there and i saw you and the lord said i should open that gate i lay my hands upon you i command the gates to be open be open right now be open right now in the name of jesus christ be open right now we're rounding up we're rounding up please this lady with a uh, yellow blue you come i don't know you but the lord is asking me to pray for you lift your hands this is a real prayer to usher you into a strange realm of blessings i lay my hands and i remove the embargo from your destiny in the name of jesus christ i command uh -uh. I'm praying for you, but I'm seeing my hand on you. I'm praying for you, but I'm seeing my hand on you. Jesus, please visit them. Strength visitations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Strength visitations. Lift your hands, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. I just saw a door open and I saw a name come out. Listen. I saw a name come out and I saw the Okalo family. The Okalo family. This is Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. God is visiting your people. All three of you. Step into that grace. I open that door now. The Okalo family. Step into that grace. Open, 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 open. I open that door. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus a dramatic restoration of everything that by the power of witchcraft has tied you down whatever has covered your glory i speak it right now in the name of jesus let it be open 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 i unveil your glory 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 Tonight is a strange night. Please receive every prophetic word that I'm going to pray for you. Ah, just allow me to do one more thing. The Spirit of God, I have not seen this in a while. I'm now seeing the map of Nigeria and I see Benway State. The Spirit of God is going to Benway right now. Right now, touching people. You know how it happens when I speak. Benway, Benway miracles locate them now oh god people from benway benway strange grace strange grace i break witchcraft benway i'm seeing benway hallelujah hallelujah i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right i'm seeing i know or to go but i'm seeing the o a a at the, is there a place like that or to bar or something the power of god i'm seeing that going to that area the lord is bringing a miracle ends with an a whoever comes from that region in the name of jesus breakthrough 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 strange breakthrough strange breakthrough benway 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 I don't know why God is doing this, but I'm prophesying it. May the angel of the Lord's presence step into that place. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another name on the map. Emo. 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 Where are they, oh God? Emo. 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 Emo state. Emo state. The anointing of the spirit locates them now strangely. Matato Sotota. Emo state, miracles, miracles, breakthroughs, 
signs, wonders, miracles, miracles to evil states by the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. If you're from Cross River, Cross River, Calabar, something is happening right now. Cross River, Cross River, Cross River, Cross River, help her, help her, please. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everyone. It's the Minister of Science and Wonders. Let me talk to you, my dear. This lady looking at me. You, come. The Lord has located you today. Come. Lift your hands. The Lord says I should tell you for shame. He's bringing laughter to your life. 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 Lift your hands. We are rounding up. You've heard me say it again that this is the most powerful part of the service. I want you to believe it. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, the anointing flows through me to you. And I know when the anointing is heaviest. It's only because many of us are already used to some of these things. And so you think when these things are happening, you don't judge the anointing just by physical manifestations. I want to pray for you. Please receive everything I pray for you. Every age-long challenge every challenge that has refused to leave i prophesy upon it right now i command that it comes to an end in your life now 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 that fair lady come this lady time run come Lift your hands, I'm still praying. In the name of Jesus, listen. Whatever has brought shame and dishonor like a stigma to your life, I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. I saw you inside a cave and I'm surprised because we've prayed for, for deliverance prayer. And I saw you inside a cave. You are just trying to push the door. That's why I asked you to come out. Let me, I don't know you. Do I know you? Where did you come from? Damagadi. Where? Damagadi. Kutuku. Where is that? I don't know. Here in Zaria. Yes. I'm going to pray for you. God is bringing a major breakthrough. Two things. God is going to throw somebody out of your life. Amen. I'm not a prophet Amen. of doom, but it will happen. Amen. He will reach three days. Huh? Throw Amen. completely so that you can move forward. Amen. I hold your hands. In the name of Jesus, every deceiver of your destiny will drive them far from you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You need to love Jesus with all your heart. Right? You are a nice person but your relationship with Jesus you, you can get teachings after this but I want to prophesy on your life God is taking somebody not dead though just driving somebody out an unwanted person out of your life I prophesy the kind of favor you have never seen I lay my hands on you and I provoke the heavens to release that favor for you in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare over every family represented here whether your nuclear family, your extended family, hold on. I don't know what has gone wrong, but in the name of Jesus, within now and miracle service match, dramatic turnaround for families. Dramatic turnaround for families. Dramatic turnaround for families. In the name of Jesus. One of the mysteries responsible for open doors and new levels is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers. I want to pray for you. I don't know where they are, 
But one thing I know is they never come on their own. They are called by prophecy. I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. The helper of your destiny. I command them to appear now. 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 Hallelujah. Come. Come and hold my hands. Congratulations. I'm seeing a job. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a very good job. And the Lord is saying I should congratulate you. Look at me. You will stand here and testify before the people of all the Holy Ghost said I should tell you is congratulations and I hold your hand in the name of Jesus Christ may it come to pass I decree and declare the results you have not had in 10 years put together in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God in one month 30 days I stand here under the unction of the Holy Ghost 30 days beginning from today step into those results step into those results ah, yeah, 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 yeah. step into those results step into those results strange dimensions of results hallelujah whoever has despised you whether to your knowing or not to your knowing i pray may god put them on the scene as he lifts you may they watch your rising as god honors you i pray for anyone here whose spiritual life has gone down prayer life down your praise and worship life down fasting down word life down in the name of jesus christ i activate fresh grace receive it fresh grace fresh fire outside receive it fresh grace fresh fire fresh grace hallelujah wherever your prosperity is i pray may listen listen hagar carried ishmael and they were roaming around the desert they said there was no water but when an angel appeared, all of a sudden they saw water. That you have not seen it does not mean it's, there, it's not there. I open your eyes to see where God has anointed to bring you financial blessings. I open your eyes in the name of Jesus. I open your eyes to see where God has placed your prosperity. Hallelujah. The plague of death that is looming around this nation looking for people and families is listen it's like a graph it rises then sometimes it relaxes i'm praying whoever calls your name i'm prophesying this oh whether in the secret or the open to invoke death upon your life i command the earth to open and swallow them I command the earth to open and swallow them. Whoever prophesies that it will not be well with you, may misery follow them. The Esther anointing, the unction and the grace that granted Esther uncommon access in the presence of Ahasuerus Shababa Satalakata in the name of the Lord Jesus I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny right now take it I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny hallelujah two more prayer points and we are done hallelujah listen listen many of us do not understand the mystery of spiritual defense and protection listen i want to pray something that is very powerful in your life listen when you are in trouble and there is nobody to show up for you it's a cause 
are you hearing what I'm saying now? The Bible says, defend you in the day of trouble. There are many of us, if for any reason things go wrong in your life, you are in trouble. There is nobody that can arise as a defense. But I'm prophesying to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever must arise and defend your cause in the presence of your helpers and in the presence of your persecutors, I call them forth right now. In the name of Jesus, may God raise men to be a wall of defense for you. In this wicked, um, wicked state that we are living right now in this country, people say if you don't have anybody, and honestly speaking, somebody can get up and come and seize your land. You and your land and your paper, they will collect it because there is no defense. I'm prophesying again. Quarter to shame. May God raise a defense for you. And finally, I want to pray the prayer of Jabez for you. Many of us, ha, many of us have not studied. Honor is not money. Listen, listen. There are many rich people with no honor. Are we together? There are many well-to-do people with no honor. Do you know what honor is? Honor is when God anoints men to lavishly discern and celebrate what you represent without reservation. So for every one person who talks nonsense, there are thousands. Honor. Jabez said, oh, the, the mother bore him in sorrow. You brought shame for me. So I call you Jabez. Honor is more than money, brothers and sisters. The Bible says a good name is better than riches. I pray the mantle of honor that by the grace of God has rested upon this ministry in the name that is above all names for as many who have the grace and the discernment to receive take that man to right now take that man to right now they don't have to know you but strangers will come to feed your flock receive that grace for honor hallelujah Wave your hands to Jesus and praise him. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise him. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise him. Wave your hands. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We lift our hands to the great I am. Oh, was and we. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.